Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm gonna be getting S plus rank on hardcore difficulty on a new game, a brand new game. This should unlock the chicken hat, which allows you to take extra damage. This is super helpful for professional S plus and just in general. So I'm gonna be doing it with nothing special, just regular Ashley and regular Leon, no armor, no expanded treasure map, no DLC, just brand new. Just a brand new regular playthrough. So let's get started here. So buckle up and I hope you're ready to spend the next two to three hours with me together. And uh, I hope you're ready. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like and all that jazz. So I am playing as I'm recording this. So far could he have gone? yeah, so I'm playing this on PC, but you of course can do this on any platform. And also, I'm using a mod for the RPD costume. All right, let's get let's get started here. So I'm playing on max settings on my graphics, on my RTX 4090 graphics card. So yeah, that, I think I I always get those questions. So yeah. Home? So to get S plus on hardcore, you have to finish the game in under five hours and thirty, I believe, and uh, you can save as many times as you want. So yeah, you only have the restriction of the time, basically. Nothing else. And it has to be a brand new playthrough. You cannot get S plus on a new game plus. All right, let's get started here. Um, also, if you want to, you can use bonus weapons, but I'm not going to. I'm only going to be using the regular arsenal. What was that? All right, so I'm gonna go up here, go up to these bottles, and then immediately step back and then run past them. Easy, easy peasy. Yeah, I'm using a mod for the RPD costume. I think it looks really cool. It's from RE2 Remake. Okay, hopefully he doesn't hit me. Okay, good. So I will be skipping cutscenes, unfortunately, because otherwise I would add another three hours to my game. This looks really good, actually, this, uh, this mod for the uh, uniform. Right, so there's going to be some things that I'm going to be doing specifically um, that um, are going to look a little bit weird, but they are necessary. So in the initial playthrough of the village, we are going to be getting a few things, a flash grenade and a hand grenade. So those who have watched my professional guide and all of my other playthroughs know what I'm talking about already. Uh, so to get past the village section, the village plaza, we have to survive five minutes or kill 15 enemies. And we are going to be killing 15 enemies because that gives us a bunch of items that we need. So I'm gonna stick, be sticking to the left here. Hopefully this dude does not rush me. And I'm gonna go into this house. Watch out, don't step in that. This dude is going to be annoying. I'm just gonna run past him, grab everything. There's a flash grenade here that I need. And some handgun ammo. So before we go out, I'm just gonna stun this dude and kick both of them. And I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm not gonna be using any glitches or skips or anything like that. It's going to be pure legitimate run. All right, let's get started here. So I'm gonna go to the left. I'm going to get, I'm going to grab the green herb here. So this is the ultimate guide. This is everything that I've learned and every single strategy that you can possibly do in this game. Well, at least most of them. And also very noob friendly. You don't have to be a professional at this. No pun intended. Right, we're gonna break that and then we're gonna go to the left here. So we have a flash grenade. Grab that. Sometimes that is... The drops are random, by the way. Sometimes that's a uh, spin off. Okay, hopefully he doesn't grab me, okay? Whatever. All right, I'm just gonna go to this house. It's okay if you mess up. This game gives you a lot of room for for messing up. Okay, we're hand grenade right there. Then after that, we're gonna go this way. This dude might give us some trouble, but that's fine. I should have just shot him, to be honest. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Do that. So they burn. Okay, 
I'm not gonna get into the shotgun house. I'm going to instead go up this this ladder right here. And I'm going to be killing 15 enemies from up here. So I'm going to wait for them to all huddle up together down there. That way I can throw a grenade and they die immediately. So we're gonna shoot them as they come up. There we go. Try not to miss because that's not ideal. Alright. Need more of them to get here. There we go. Just, just waiting for them to all come here. Okay, that's enough, I think. Grenade. And then I'm gonna go downstairs. And then if the bell doesn't... If the bell doesn't ring, I'm just gonna go into... The, shock, the shotgun house. Okay, so I took damage, so I'm just gonna heal with my first aid. That's, that's okay. Alright. Here we go. I'm having very bad luck. It's been a while since I've played this game, so... But it's okay, you can mess up and still get S+. The only thing that matters is the time, so... Alright, so I'm gonna equip my shotgun here. And shoot him in the face. There we go, and then I'm gonna grab the shotgun shells there. Then I'm gonna go out this window. And now we still we have a new grenade, right? So I'm gonna grab the velvet blue right there. And then we can just shoot him from here or or throw your grenades at them. If they're together. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Okay, I'm gonna throw the grenade here. There we go. And that should ring the bell. Grab everything before the, the bell rings. Alright. That was not perfect, but you know, it's it's whatever. I really I really dislike those cutscenes because you can never skip them fast enough. Anyway, yeah, so that's one way of doing it, but of course you can either run around for five minutes or you can just kill them. If you take damage, that's perfectly fine. I would restart this run right now um, so you don't think I'm bad, but I'm actually going to keep it because honestly, it's better to show mistakes than, than to be perfect. That way you don't feel, uh, you don't feel discouraged. So I'm going to be doing something specific here. This is not strictly necessary, but this will make our lives a lot easier. We are going to complete the medallions. We're going to complete the medallions because that will give us spinels. So with the spinels, we can get a special upgrade ticket. So we need 30 spinels before we get to the chapter 7. So that way on chapter 7, we can buy a special upgrade ticket, which should allow us to put that on something like a sniper rifle or a TMP. I normally put it on the TMP because the TMP is just a lot of damage and it is great. So we're going to wait for that thing to be right there, otherwise it falls into the well and it gets dirty. Grab the treasure. So that is a regular treasure. So there's another thing right there and another medallion right there. Okay. So my goal is to finish this in under three hours, preferably around the three hours and 30 mark. But yeah, so after that, I'm going to just grab all this stuff. Dragon shells there. And the gunpowder and resources. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go back through here and shoot the lock right there. Shoot the lock. Try not to miss as much as I do. Okay, grab the ruby, grab the kitchen knife, grab the wooden cog, and then that's it. Let's go. Okay, this lady sometimes will attack you, so we're just gonna go. I did not mean to do that, but I guess we'll do that and grab the green herb right here. 
but that's okay. You can either go up the ladder and put the cog in, or you can just go down here. And then I'm gonna crouch past this. I'm gonna grab the yellow herb right here. The yellow herb will increase our health if we eat it. So I'm gonna combine that with my red and green. Go up the ladder. And the enemy will blow up with the dynamite. Inserting the cog right here. Oh, she's coming. That was bad. That's whatever, though. I have a ton of healing. This game gives you a ton of healing. And then we're gonna just jump down here. There we go. That is all of the medallions. I'm gonna grab the flagon. That is necessary. Knife that. And then we can go out this door. There's a lot of things I'm skipping because I don't need them, but yeah. And that's it. That's not the best way of doing that, but hey, that's perfectly fine. So on hardcore mode, we have auto save, so you don't have to worry about saving too much. All right, I'm just gonna push this thing. Hopefully the cowhead guy does not catch up to you here, because if he does, he sometimes hits you. But if he doesn't, if he if he does catch up to you, don't worry. Just you can just dodge him. All right, so I'm gonna stick to the right here. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, but unfortunately Leon does not run faster than this. And that's fine. So there's going to be an enemy down here. She will rush at you, but it's okay. We can shoot her in the face and punch her. Punch her with her, <laughs> with our kick. And that's it. So, um, I recommend killing that lady because she does drop some items that we need, but that's okay. Even if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna grab this. And then I'm just gonna go in here. Shoot this. Shoot that. Grab that. Just gonna run past these guys. If he rushes at you in the pink, the guy in the pink, just shoot him with a shotgun. Then after that, we're just gonna go in. There we go. Grab this in here. Don't worry about some of the items because I will be coming back later, don't worry. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, red herb. That's nice. And, and that's it, we're done with chapter one. Don't worry though, watch out though, because there is a guy here that we might have to kill. There we go. Go up to him and grab. grab his item and get this. All right, well, that's the first uh, 10 minutes, 13 to 10 minutes of uh, the game. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it wasn't a perfect clean run, but that's okay. Try not to take damage though, because that does affect you in the long run, but there is a ton of healing. This game does give you a lot of healing. So yeah, so I'm going to be saving at the end of this chapter. It's going to be chapter two. So if you're playing this on professional, I have another guide for professional where I show you where to save. So check that out if you haven't already, but on hardcore, we can just, we can just save. All right, they took my gear. So I'm just gonna go and do the abandoned factory. So this is the abandoned factory. I'm gonna grab that. But yeah, hopefully you are enjoying this. Not many people watch these videos anymore because a lot of people have found other ways of getting professional S+. Plus. So I'm doing this purely just because I wanted to, you know, have this on my channel. But yeah, we're gonna grab the knife and knife him, I guess. And this other dude sometimes rushes at us, but that's fine. There we go. We're just gonna crouch here and approach this hole. And jump over and stab him. And that's it. Don't let him spot you, though. Alright, turn this. I'm so used to amnesia now, so that's why I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. 
We're gonna look at this gate as we're opening the thing, and then we're gonna run back. He got stuck, I think. No, he didn't. Okay, we're just gonna run past him. Watch out, don't get stuck. And that's it. We grabbed our items. I'll be taking these back. Grab everything. Run towards the door so it triggers the cutscene faster. But we're actually gonna go back and kill some rats. So we're gonna go kill and we're gonna go kill some rats. Gonna equip a knife. And kill this rat. So this is another request that will give us spinels, which is one of the crucial things about this playthrough. Aim at this guy in the face, he dies, usually dies with two hits. Kill this rat. Grab his item. There's a sapphire here that we drastically need. And the final rat will be there. And that's it. That's everything we need from here. Now we can proceed on to Dynamite Valley. So Dynamite Valley often is one of the biggest reset points for people. So we're gonna we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you there safe. There's some rifle ammo there that you can grab. You can also save here. But uh, we're going to do some stuff before we save. Okay. Welcome. So we'll talk to him. <laughs> nice work. Got some um, rare things on sale. Straight, so I'm going to tell huh? Hunter's Lodge. Key card. Not key card, sorry. Key. Pearl pendant. I'll velvet blue. A deal well come. And then. Oh god. I need to get used to this again and then we can either sell the flagon with the, the the red actually i'm going to do that but let's do red welcome and we're gonna sell the flagon with two rubies and then i'm gonna be purchasing the um case upgrade and the sniper rifle you, sniper rifle which is that and at this point, if you buy the sniper rifle, it gives you this scope for free. So we're gonna do that. So that's it. That's we're gonna we're gonna save our money for later. So I'm gonna put my shotgun on two, and I'm gonna be putting my sniper rifle on three. All right. So we're currently 16 minutes in. You can probably do this faster. Uh, it all depends on how well you do and you know your RNG. But yeah, so we're going to equip the sniper rifle with the scope before we go in. And then I'm going to switch back to my pistol. Because there is a there's a lady here, so we're going to shoot her in the face. There we go. And then make sure that she's fully dead because a lot of the time, she survives like that. Okay. So, and then I'm going to go up this ladder and I'm going to be equipping my sniper rifle. Now, this is how I like running Dynamite Valley. This is very foolproof. So, we're going to equip our sniper rifle and shoot that one. And then this one. Make sure there are headshots. And then this one on the dynamite that he is holding. And then this lady down here in the face. And then this guy... You're going to have to zoom in to see him. And that's it. So those are the main enemies that we need to kill. So we're going to fully reload our sniper rifle. And then we're going to shoot these barrels. That way we aren't slowed down. So we're going to shoot that one too. And this one. There we go. So sometimes those enemies do survive. So just a heads up. But make sure they're dead. So we're going to grab that item. Going into this house. Yellow herb right there. First aid spray. Keep your knife. Break the lock. Then we're going to run around the house again. And there's going to be a dude, okay? Look at the top right, see? There's going to be a dude with a dynamite stick. So we, we need to kill him. Shot him in the dynamite. Right, then we're going to go in here. Grab the small key. And I'm going to run immediately up the ladder. Then after that, there's going to be a dude that's throwing dynamite. Over there, see? You see him? Put him in the face. And then grab the hexagonal thing. Right here. And then equip your shotgun. And shoot anyone that comes out of that, that place right there. So, once again, shotgun in hand. If you have to. Otherwise, you can just shoot this red barrel. Very convenient. 
After that, I'm gonna shoot this guy. And shoot that barrel. Shoot this lady. Don't get stuck like that. I'm gonna grab this item right there in the chest. And I'm gonna open the door. Not too sure why there's a dynamite dude there, but yeah. Put that, grab this, and just get the hell out of here. Literally just get the hell out of here. There we go. And that's it. Doesn't matter if these these people survive or not. Just walk past them. Most of the time you should be able to outrun them all. And that's it. You don't have to go through that house. I went through that house because uh, there was a dynamite dude. But yeah, essentially that is the gist of it. You have to take out those enemies. Um, you have to take out those enemies to uh, be able to run past everyone. But yeah, that's how you do it. So with the small key, we're going to use it right here. This is the only time you can do this, by the way. Then you can grab the elegant mask, which is another regular treasure. Which will allow us to have a ton of money later on. So, turn this once. And then that's it. Once to the left. Very easy, very simple. On PC it is Q and then A and then F. So I'm not going to be grabbing that expanded treasure, but you can if you want. So you can sneak up on this guy and knife him. A lot of the time he does detect you though, so be mindful of that. And there's a dude behind me. I'm just gonna run past him. Crouch here, grab the resources L. And grab these barrels, and there's a treasure here. So these these treasures are important because we're not using the expanded treasure map, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna kill this dude. There we go. And then I'm gonna grab this. Watch out, there's traps. Oh, spinel, very nice. That is random, by the way. Oh. I guess he did not die. Out of the way. There we go. Okay, well, we paid a little a little price there. Took some damage, but that's perfectly fine. Shoot these crows if you can. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry. It is all random. Okay, shoot this. Then shoot the barrel. Shoot the shoot the stick. And then shoot the treasure. I'm gonna be grabbing the red the green herb here. There is a Salazar doll right there. So this dude, he will run at us. So to play it safe, we're gonna stand behind this tree. And then we're gonna grab the treasure right here and run really fast, because otherwise he will He will get unlocked. And then that's it. That is the safest way of playing that. Otherwise, you can just run past him. But if you feel very insecure about it, just lure him into the trap like I just did right there. So like I said, guys, this is the updated guide. This is all of the tricks that I've learned while playing this. And a lot of the tricks that you guys have told me in the comment section. So literally, there isn't anything that I don't know about this game at this point. Other than, you know, cheating. So we're going to grab the ruby and the smokey. And grab the sniper rifle there. Sometimes it's handgun ammo or it's it's random, guys. Grab the hand grenade. And the solution to this is corn, pig, and baby. The two important things. The three important things, sorry. Corn, pig, and baby. All right, we're going to stand behind this chair. Wait for this dude. He will lunge at you twice. See? One, two. And then run past him. That's it. You don't need to talk to him anymore. We can grab the red herb here. But sometimes he does catch up to you, so be careful. So to solve this puzzle, it's very simple. We're going to insert the marble, then hold down. And then once it's like that, we're going to hold left and then line it up. Easy. It's nothing to worry about. Grab the handgun and the insignia key. And we're done. We did it. By the way, you can watch cutscenes. They don't add to your time. And you can also pause. That also doesn't add to your time. And also you can sit in this menu as well. So I'm going to save here because I'm playing hardcore and it doesn't matter where you save. So I'm just going to make sure we save there. And congratulations, you are you should be about 20 minutes in. Yeah, 20 to 25. That's perfectly okay. 
Remember, you have to finish the village section in under two hours. If you can't do that, you have to restart. Brown chicken egg in there. Unfortunately, guys, we are not helping the dog. I'm sorry, we are not helping the dog. It's just a waste of time. And yeah, I'm sorry. I know how you feel, but yeah. So we're gonna go into this little thing here, shed or whatever it is, grab that. And now we are gonna leave a like on this video, of course. Also, if you have problems with the with the dogs here, you can kill that dude in the pink that you saw up there and he will not spawn the dogs. So we're gonna go into this door, grab this handgun ammo or whatever that is for you. Jump over the fence there or the window. Grab this and then jump over the fence. And then we're gonna kill the nerds. There we go. You can kill the other one as well, but I don't want to waste it. It's not worth it. After that, we're gonna grab his item. Go in here. Use the small key. Also, in this video, I'll be showing you most of the small key locations. But I, I won't always go back. So there's, a, there's a vintage compass and some money. Then I'm gonna immediately run. Just run. Just keep running. Knife this door, open the door, shoot it, shoot that thing immediately, grab the item, and watch out, there's an enemy in here. But if you if you did it that fast, as, as fast as I did, more, more often than not, the enemy in there will die. So if you have to shoot that thing as soon as you open the door to kill him, to kill her, and that's it. So, another enemy right here. I'm gonna grab the green herb just to make sure that we have enough. You can knife her or just shoot her. She won't be here when we come back, so we're just gonna leave. I'm not gonna waste my knife on her. Grab this. There's a there's a snake in there. You have to kill the snakes. We have a ton of stuff here, so we're just gonna do that. We need the snake. We need we absolutely need the snake. Don't forget the snake. And also don't forget these shotgun shells. We're stacking up really well here, very generously. So grab the velvet blue, and there is a first aid, just in case if that wasn't enough. And some shotgun shells right there. I'll grab this, and immediately we are going to sell some stuff. So, oh. so I'm going to sell all this stuff. And the viper. The viper is part of the requests. So we're going to be purchasing the TMP. So we're gonna. gonna put this? Your pocket? So bef it before we do that, though, I'm gonna eat this. Traffic. I'm gonna store the sniper. So I'm, I won't be needing the sniper rifle. So I'm gonna store that and the scope. And also the time stops when you're looking at the typewriter, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna sort my inventory here. Welcome. And I'm going to be purchasing the TMP. I guess we can also buy the flash grenade. Yeah, let's buy the flash grenade um, recipe. And then all of our money is just going to be going into slowly into the TMP. If you have been getting all of the items that I've been getting, we can actually have a three uh, blue gems elegant mask right there. And we can continue upgrading our TMP. Now, uh, I actually recommend you continue upgrading your TMP, but if you don't want to fully rely on one weapon, uh, we also can just save up some money and save it for your shotgun here, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to save up my money here. If you have enough, you can power up your pistol. I'm going for the Red 9, personally, because uh, I just feel like it's more efficient to go with the Red 9. But yeah, so let's get let's let's keep going here. Let's not waste any more time. So I'm gonna shoot this nest, which will have some rifle ammo. But I'm not going to be grabbing it. Actually, okay, we're gonna be grabbing it, but I'm not gonna be using it because I don't have a sniper rifle. So I'm not gonna be shooting these birds. So don't get tempted into shooting these birds. Church. Instead, we're gonna run around here. Make sure that you have your kitchen knife equipped and knife this dude in the throat, and then turn around. And complete the puzzle here. Well, not the puzzle, but you know what I mean. I'll be shooting this nest. Has an egg. You have to, you have to eat your eggs, guys. 
And after that, there is a there is a, tr a treasure there, but I'm not gonna be grabbing that because that is the DLC. So I'm I'm avoiding all the DLC treasures, just so anyone can do this 100% guide without any any sort of help. This is as if I just downloaded the game and I just purchased it. Alrighty, so we're gonna continue onwards here. We're gonna grab that and then we're gonna run straight here. And there is something that we actually do need. And that is the elegant address. And there's some uh, resources out there that you can leave for later. I'm gonna be grabbing them because I'm going to be needing flash grenades. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a flash grenade that right there. So we need the flash grenades for the giant boss fight, the El Gigante. So make sure you have at least that flash grenade. We need two flash grenades or so. We're immediately gonna go in here. You can save here. This would be your first or second save if you're playing professional, if you're following my guide. Once again, I recommend you watch that guide. It's really good. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we are 29 minutes in here, so I'm gonna say that's pretty good because um, we are mostly done with the annoying part. So now we actually have to do something that might require some skill. So we're gonna not shoot anyone here. Instead, we're gonna equip our shotgun and run. Run, run, run to this ladder. Run to this ladder, don't shoot anyone. Don't shoot anyone. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Run past everyone, just run past everyone up to this torch and jump down. And then run behind this dude. So if you run up to that torch, most of the time it won't spawn the enemies here. So that's pretty cool. So go up to the C4, disable it, don't run into it. We've all done it, but yeah. Don't worry, it's okay. So, I'm not gonna be using a flash grenade here. Instead, I'm gonna be using a grenade. So, I'm gonna send my shotgun to the storage because I actually won't be needing the shotgun for anything. So, we're gonna grab the medallions thing so you can see the medallions on the map if you really need help, but I will be showing you where they are. So, I'm gonna equip my, my, my hand grenade and immediately throw it. Hopefully this... This dog doesn't rush at you for some reason. I don't know why he decided to rush. So we're gonna shoot him to death. There's gonna be another dog, so watch out. There we go. And that's it. So it is important that you get this treasure. And a large... A large amount of birds also sometimes drop sapphire. So if you drop it, if you throw a grenade in the middle of them, you should be getting the sapphire. So yeah, so, that's, so I took damage. So I'm just going to eat the egg that we got er earlier. Don't worry. We do have a ton of healing for this run. Even if you mess up, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to be grabbing the resources right there because I don't need them until later. Instead, I'm going to be grabbing this. So hopefully you found some TMP ammo here, but if you didn't, that's okay. We we are going to have enough to craft. Okay, so grabbing the hexagon piece, A, right there, and then I'm going to be running immediately. Remember, we are on a timer, so yeah. So we're going to be bringing our TMP with us. So I normally would use the shotgun here, but the shotgun was giving a lot of trouble to, for some people, so I'm going to be using the TMP. Before we go, though, we're going to shoot this only once. Don't shoot it more than once because that'll upset the boss. And then we're, we're going to go to the fishing farm. So this is a fishing farm. We need the fuel here. So I'm also before going, I'm also going to be shooting that nest right there. OK, all right. That should give us some shotgun shells. I'm going to be equipping. I'm going to be equipping my TMP here. I'm going to stick to the left. Stick to the left. And then take a right. And run past these enemies. You can use your TMP here to stun those enemies. If you really have to. The TMP has a lot of stun, uh, stun damage. Disable this C4 and jump down. As soon as you jump down. Take some distance. And then shoot the C4. That should kill some enemies. This guy also needs to die. So shoot him or stun him. Get this door. Grab the egg. Get the fuel. And get ready for them to run in. Oh, 
There you go. Make sure you stun one of them and run out. Just run out. Don't worry about anyone else. We will come back later. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything else. Our goal is to just run out of here. We're going to stick to the right here and then just keep going forward. Keep going forward and immediately press the action button. If you get hit, that's okay. It's kind of BS how you get hit there. It's okay. If you want to risk it, you can shoot the, um, the C4 there to kill that guy. We're going to use our TMP here. If you get if you get stabbed, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna eat my red and yellow, green, and that's okay. Our goal is to stun them with either a shotgun or a TMP, but it's okay if you get stabbed. Don't worry. That should clear out our inventory a little bit. And that's it. That's pretty much <laughs> uh, not the optimal way of doing it, but you know you get the gist of it. That's pretty much what you have to do. Uh, we will come back later, so that's why I'm not grabbing stuff. We will come back later, don't worry. So grab all this stuff. Before we go though, we are going to grab some items in here. Make sure that you get the red yellow herb. There's a knife in there. I'm gonna combine that. Look at all the healing. Yeah. Anyway. We wanna consume the red and green and yellow first. That way we have more health. Anyway, grab all of that, and now let's get ready for the Lago. So the Lago often gives a lot of trouble to some people, so hopefully I'll be able to cover it. I'll be able to give you a good strategy for it, hopefully, here. So let's get started. I want to skip this cutscene. Immediately, I'm going to shoot him. Wait for the white thing to be on top of him. The target thing, you know? See? If you see that on his body, that means he, you will hit him. Or, I guess not, sometimes. <laughs> anyway, see? You can hit him five to six times here. Ideally six times. Then immediately shoot him in the mouth, right there, if you can. There we go. You want to hit him a few times. So now he will re-emerge. Enough for you to, kill, to hit him once. There we go. And don't shoot him again. Because you won't have enough time to do it again. So now he's gonna do a swim by right there. We're gonna hit him. See, make sure that the white thing's on his body. You can hit him three times. There we go. And then wait for him to open his mouth. Wait for him to open his mouth. And then shoot him in the mouth. And then in the head. There we go. Now he's gonna reemerge again. He's gonna jump. So I'm gonna try to shoot him in the face. In the mouth. There we go. He's gonna turn to the right. Ideally. But I guess not. There we go. He's turning to the right. And then hit him again. Once. I'm following the rope. I'm following the rope. Follow the rope. Otherwise, you'll hit the, the wooden obstacles. There we go. That's good. Okay. So now he should be about half health or so. There we go, he's swimming by. He will do two of these, I'm pretty sure. You can hit him a few times there. Now he's gonna say, where'd you go? Where'd you go? And then he's gonna spawn around here. There we go, there he is. Mouth. If if this happens, if you don't hit him in the mouth, this will happen. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you hit him in the mouth so that so that doesn't happen. That's scripted, by the way, for him to stun you there. You can't hit him after that. He should die soon. There we go. I'm following the rope, following the rope. That didn't take damage. He's gonna jump. Mouth. Tail. One more and he's dead. He should be dead soon.
Following the rope, following the rope. Yeah. He should die very soon. Pretty sure he just regenerated. There we go. We did it. That's fine. That's worst case scenario. But hey, this is the run where I'm showing you that you can do it. So don't you worry. Even if that's a little bit difficult for you, even if you get to that point, that's perfectly fine because I just showed you that you can do it. So don't worry. I don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. And let's get, let's get going. So this is actually my favorite part of the game. It was in the original as well. The, the the rain part is what I call it. So this is actually going to be my first time seeing the rain with my new graphics card. So I'm excited to see how annoying it is. Alright, we're going to stick to the left. Grab this. Combine that with a red and green. Or just a green, I guess. So we're not going to be hitting anyone here. Hopefully. So I'm, go I'm spamming F here to skip the cutscene. And I'm continuing onwards to the right. And then run past this dude. He he does stun you every now and then if you're too close to him. So just stick to his left, to your left, his right. And just run past him. Don't bother killing them because they are both Plagas. So they're just a big waste of resources and time. So just keep going. Don't worry about anything. Even if you get hit, you have enough stuff. Don't worry. It's fine. Shrine. Is this a key? Alright, and that's it. So we're gonna grab the shrine key the way shrine key here, which is very useful. I'm gonna grab that and get the red barrel. Not red barrel, but yellow. There we go. And now our objective is to get two heads. And a few more things. So we're gonna stick to the left. Left. <laughs> and we're gonna get off here. So before we start, we're gonna get some things. We're gonna stick to the right. Don't trigger the dude. Stick to the right. Get that. Knifing is faster. Doesn't make you take damage. Grab this. Run past him. And then you can shoot this guy in the dynamite. Stun that guy. Just re keep running. Don't get the barrel because you will get hit. Just keep running. Just keep running. Don't stop. Follow the same route that I'm taking. Stick to the right here. Stick to the right here. And run past. And I'm going to reload my TMP. So TMP is really good for stunning. That's something that you need to remember. If you need to. Alrighty. So I'm going to go up here. And solve this puzzle. Which is a Y. Like that. So I'm gonna grab the head. The apostate's head. Before we go, we can grab this. Very useful. This dude often kills himself. Okay, if these enemies are up here, just shoot them or stun them if you so desire. And just run. Just run. Before we go, we're gonna grab the yellow herb. And there is a treasure there, so we're gonna grab that. Don't worry about those guys. And that's it. Always have your TMP ready. Always have to be you always have to be fast. React really fast. And that's it. That's how you do it. Of course, that's not going to play out the same way for you cuz enemy pathing depends on a lot of things and sometimes it's often, you know, random. But that's essentially the gist of it. You know, pretty much this guide is I'm showing you a way of doing it uh, that pretty much should work with most situations but even if it doesn't let's be honest you're amazing so you you can just heal it's fine i'm, sh I'm pretty much allowing you to heal completely with uh with this guide anyway so before we continue here there is a thing that we need to shoot this is a regular treasure so we're gonna shoot that 
I'm not using any expanded treasure map, okay? I'm gonna get the Alexandrite there. So make sure everything's reloaded. And let's continue forwards. And that's it. So now we need to get the second head. We're gonna hit every barrel here. Okay. They give you they give you a hundred to set us. Very useful to get a lot of money early on. And it's also very fun. So after that, we're gonna actually go to the lakeside settlement, which is on the left right here. So at the lakeside settlement, we're gonna do a couple of things that should make this run a lot easier. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna kill this dude first of all with our knife, with our kitchen knife. There we go. Kill him. And then we're gonna grab the elegant headdress here. Sorry, the peril bangle. And then... Not necessarily in this order, but you know. And then we're gonna go get the scarab. So if you know about the scarab, you know where it is already. So let's get running. Watch out, there are some traps. Go in here. There should be some shotgun shells around here and stuff like that. Some treasures and stuff. There's also a Salazar doll here. Here. All right, let's get the treasure. This is a hidden treasure right here. There you go. And that's how you do that. And you can only grab it uh, right now. You can't grab that earlier. So. Hopefully this guy doesn't notice us. If he does, it's okay. And then we're gonna get that. Use the insignia key. There is another expanded treasure here, if you so desire, but I'm not gonna grab it. Just to make things a lot fair, a lot more fair. And then we're gonna grab the gunpowder and go up here. So there is another Salazar doll here. Uh, to shoot the, you have to shoot the Salazar dolls. They give you the primal knife, which becomes in infinite. So small key and green herb. Once again, added to our collection of healing. And that's it. So now the dogs will have spawned. We have a few options here. So I'm gonna combine that. We can use a flash grenade, or we can risk it. And we can just run past. I say we run past. Oh god. There we go. Just run past. It's okay. It's okay if you get hit. We should have some eggs and stuff like that. Don't you worry. And that's it. Even if you get hit once, that's perfectly fine. Alright, so we're done with that. That adds an extra 5 to 10 minutes to our run. But it's okay, don't worry. Alright, wanna that makes that gives us enough time to do this also. Alright. So now we go to the small key. Small cave shrine. Which is this shrine with the little thimble at the top on the entrance. This one's actually very easy, because there's no enemies here, so don't worry. So if we do have some eggs, we're just gonna eat them. And don't worry, we will grab more egg later. So the solution to this puzzle is this. And Oh, nope, that's not right. There we go. Sorry, I was having trouble with my... with my mouse there. Alright, grab the hexagon piece. And there is, an ex there is a regular treasure here. So we're gonna grab that. Unlock this door. And there is an expanded treasure here, which I'm not going to be grabbing. Instead, I'm gonna be getting the handgun ammo. And that is it. Get this before we go. So we have enough stuff and money. That's a lot of money right there. All right, let's go. Now we are ready to go to the chicken island. So we won't be needing the TMP. So we are going to actually send the TMP back home. So send to storage. And we can also send some 
some first aid sprays. So we're doing this because we need space right now. So make sure you have enough space for the Red 9 and the Lunker Bass. So as soon as we come out of there, we're going to stick to the left. And go to the Golden Egg Island. I'm going to grab that. There's a Velvet Blue Treasure right there. And then take the Golden Chicken Egg. Don't eat it. Do not eat it. And now we're looking for the Lunker Bass. So the Lunker Bass is a fish that's located right there. That's not the fish. That's the fish. You see him? He's very big. There we go. So we're gonna go at him and grab it. We should have enough room if we got rid of our story with if we send the shotgun to the storage and the TMP, so. Alright, gonna break that barrel. And now we are ready for a handgun upgrade. So it is down to preference. If you don't like the Red 9, you can just stick with the SG09, that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna be grabbing the Red 9 here, and I recommend it, because it deals a lot of damage. And I'm gonna be using the Red 9 as my my main pistol. Although the SG09 is just as good. It's it's really good. I actually really like the SG09. And now we are ready to go back to the big cave. So to the merchant. So we're gonna go turn around and go this way. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do the lake area. It shouldn't take you longer than 10 to 15 minutes. But remember, you have to finish this entire village section in under two hours and that's plenty of time don't you worry i even did some extra stuff that i normally wouldn't do there we go i don't know why that happened but yeah i'm gonna get this and we're gonna go up the ladder don't worry we will come back for the treasure in the drawer don't you worry it's fine okay so we can save here if we've done some stuff once again, if you're playing professional, follow my professional guide to know where, where to save. Alright, so now we are going to go back to the fishing farm. Remember when I said we will we would go back to the fishing farm? Yeah, so we have some unfinished business there. <clears throat> we have to get the medallions, the hexagon peas, and one more small key. And that's going to be the last small key from the lake. So we're coming back later because there are no enemies now. See how there's nobody here? Yeah, that's perfectly okay. So we also need some snakes. We need two more snakes, actually. There we go. Do that. Whatever. I'm gonna turn around. There we go. I guess I'll shoot that. I do have too much, too many bullets, so I have to start spending them more. We're looking for some vipers. No, that's a fish. That's another fish. Get the velvet blue. Shoot this right here. Disable this. All of this is necessary if you want to have enough uh, money. So there's a viper right there, so I'm going to be shooting it. Then immediately I'm going to turn around here. There's this thing. That's the last medallion. And the last hexagon piece. There we go. I'm going to grab the viper because we need to sell it. And there's the small key right there. And some pesetas. Oh, hey, look. The remains of someone. We're going to snag that didn't go up there so we need one more viper hopefully we will be able to find one here we need to get two vipers here if you're following along with me you need two vipers as well that was very close anyway disable that there we go so we're looking for some vipers
There's a viper. I heard it. I can't see it though. Oh, that's a fish. As a fish. Oh, I heard it. I heard the viper. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay, viper's upstairs. <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. And that's the last thing we need from here. So all of that is necessary because that is also a request that will give us spinels, which is required for the strategy. My strategy on getting 30 spinels to get the upgrade ticket to get the infinite, not the infinite, but we're not doing infinite ammo this time. We're doing instead, um, we're probably upgrading the TMP. So yeah, so we're going up here. So the solution to this puzzle is inserting the hexagon piece A first, then B, then C. And then, bottom right twice, bottom left twice, and top once. That will be different on standard and and the other the other easy difficulties. But yeah, that's how you do that. And now we have a ton of treasures to sell. Once again, this is the noob-friendly, foolproof guide on how to get S plus on hardcore. Uh, we are about to get to the one hour mark, which is perfectly f fine. That's okay. So that's a good stuff, okay. Got Sell all of this stuff. Rhinoceros beetle, the golden chicken egg, the lunker bass. No this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then we can insert the Alexandrite. On the bangle, right here. That's nineteen thousand two hundred. Yeah, I almost have enough. Thank you. I have a lot of money. I'm gonna buy the case upgrade here. A decent size, but size ain't everything. Come back. And now, now we have enough to put our stuff in. So we're gonna grab the TMP and the. I want to say shotgun, but I don't think I'll need the shotgun. So we're just going to grab TMP and sniper rifle. And the scope. There we go. And I'm going to save right there. So make sure everything's reloaded. TMP. Sniper rifle is going to go to number two. And the flash grenade to number six. Welcome. Okay. So now we can tune up our TMT TMP. Uh, normally I would fully. Normally I would fully upgrade the TMP here, but uh, we're gonna before we do that, we're actually gonna grab this item down here. There we go. I did not grab the treasure, did I? Yeah, I did not grab the treasure from... I did not grab the treasure from the, um... That's okay. I did not grab the treasure from the, uh... The altar, but that's okay. You can grab it if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just... I'm just gonna adapt. So, I'm gonna sell the Brass Pocket Watch. I also... Yeah, I missed the red gemstone ring. But that's okay. Okay. We're gonna repair this knife. Good luck to you, stranger. Thanks, stranger. Uh, I'm also gonna be upgrading the ammo capacity on this. And... I'm not gonna touch reloads because I don't really need that to be so fa really fast. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading instead... This. And
we could do pistol, but instead... Yeah, I'm gonna do pistol. Let's do pistol here. Reload speed and ammo capacity. There we go. That should be good. Rate of fire. Okay. You can do uh, your own upgrades if you want. But I'm doing it like this. I'm making sure that my TMP is at 50. Um, so in professional, things will be different. Upgrades, more upgrades will be available to you. But yeah. Yeah, I completely forgot about the red gemstone key it, ring. I'm, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. So we should have about three to five grenades here. All you need is one grenade. So this is not open. Um, because we didn't put the heads in so we need to go back and actually put the heads in man i'm all over the place <laughs> that's fine it shouldn't take longer than five minutes but that's that's okay all right let's put the heads in Put the heads here so we can get the insignia that opens the church. A mark from the church. Is this the key? Put that head there. Put that there. And now, if and now we can go back to the actual church. But if you, like me, missed the red gemstone key, red gemstone ring, uh, you can go back here. Remember, you have two hours for the village to be done, so I'm actually taking a risk here. So to go to the lakeside settlement, it is over there. All the way. Alright, so here we are. Hopefully the dogs will be gone. Yeah, if the dogs are still here, I'm just gonna use this. There you go. I'm gonna use the key here. Gold bar right there. And then there's a red gemstone key, a red gemstone ring here. This is just extra if you want like and like if you want more money which isn't fully necessary there we go red gemstone ring and the gold bar so you're supposed to grab this stuff when you come back from the altar this dude is annoying me Oh, of course he's a Plaga. Annoying. Just run. There we go. Alright, that was a little bit of time wasted, but oh well, whatever. Now let's just go back to the merchant. Okay. <laughs> oh man anyway one hour ideally you want to get to the giant in one hour I have some welcome got right. some rare things on stank. the butterfly lamp also you can sell that with red we will get more don't worry so three reds should I be enough welcome. And now we can tune up our reload speed on the TMP. And I'm gonna save my money for later. Alrighty, so 
we need two to three flashbangs, at least two to three grenades, and a lot of TMP. And yeah, so the strategy is that of immediately starting off by throwing a hand grenade at him. So do that, and then TMP to the face, and then. And then when he screams like that, see that parasite? Flashbang. You got worms too? And then TMP in hand. Same thing. Alright, so now we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna eat these eggs. There we go. Gonna use another nade here. Okay, he grabbed me. That's bad. There you go. Just make sure you deal enough damage for that. If he goes up to that, grenade him. Just deal enough damage for him to bring out his parasite again. And then flashbang him. Put this on the sniper rifle. That should deal a lot of damage to him. If he goes up to that again, boom. Just gonna make another flash grenade here. Then throw that. And that should kill him. That's it. That's how you do the giant. So the flash grenade deals damage to him when his parasite is exposed. So that is the goal, basically. Get his parasite out and then throw flash grenades. The um I'm gonna combine this. Look at all this healing. Um the sniper rifle also deals extra damage to his parasite. Because the sniper rifle deals that extra damage to weak spots. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's it. That's how you do that. I mean, you can probably do it without taking damage like I did, but it happens. Damage is all part of the process. So now we're almost done with the with uh, this section of the game. With the village. We need to grab the hand grenade, by the way. Also, there's another viper right there if you so desire. And there's an item in here. I'm spamming the action button, okay? I'm spamming the action button. I'm just destroying F right now. I'm just pressing F a lot here. If I if you press F here a lot, you skip the cutscene. So you can just run past the dog. There we go. Insert that here. Hopefully he doesn't hit me on the way in, because he actually might. There we go. I'm going in and grabbing the SMG ammo. I'm here to help. The blue dial in there. Now we're ready to solve this puzzle. We can grab the bolts here. Um, I usually sell them. There is a small key here that we need. Important. Very important. Enable that. Put the blue dial in there. And then we're going to start with green by pressing E, whatever that is, on your controller. Then Q on the blue one until it's lined up. See the little leggy like that? And then E again. Sorry, it's it's Q again on the red. There we go. It's very easy. You really don't need to uh, stress too much about that. I'm just looking at the legs, basically. And that's it. Now we can get Ashley. So if you, of course, have that's armor it. Ashley, I 100% recommend using her here. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter.
we're gonna save. We're about one hour and ten, one hour in. That's perfect. I'm gonna skip this cutscene. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. And I'm gonna be crouched. It is important that you're crouched. And then we can stand here and use our knife. Get the yellow diamond, which is the most expensive gem. And then crouch again. If you don't crouch here, they will see you. There we go. So we have about 25 spinels here. So there's a couple of things that you can do. You can either do the Savage Mutt or just wait until later and do some medallions at the castle, which is what I'm going to be doing. Patchable mines, whatever. We can sell those later. And that's it. I'm not grabbing the treasure because that's a DLC. That's it. So let me look at my inventory real quick. Okay, so we have too much stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna deposit some things. But before we do that, we're gonna open this. Get the yellow diamond. Look at the typewriter, and we are going to insert the scope and the sniper rifle. And then we are going to get the shotgun just in case we need to, like, get rid of some people on the way. There we go. We can get the we can get the shotgun. There we go. That's it. This is what my loadout looks like. Make sure that your shotgun is registered. Okay. So I'm gonna go up to this lady. Knife her in the throat. And then with my shotgun, shoot him in the face. There's another safe way of doing this, and that is ma making a flash grenade and running past everyone. Which is something that I'm tempted to do now. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna, this is gonna be bright. throw the flash grenade and run past everyone. Anytime. Let's go. Let's go. Shotgun in hand. Once we reach these tombs right here, we're gonna equip our TMP. And if this guy gives us problem, we can shoot him in the legs. But he won't give us problems because we flashed everyone. So flash grenade there helps a lot. So keep that in mind. If you run into some problems, flash grenade. Uh, I have some new good All right. Well, so we're gonna sell. New for you, I'm actually gonna sell the viper because I have no use for it, Ruby's and I'm going to be selling no the difference. bolts, the, price, well, the attachable mines, and the SG09. Which was my starter pistol, because I'm not going to be using it. Thank you. Where would it and then here, you, you can just buy the flash grenade if you need to. Or you can just upgrade your shotgun. I'm not going to be upgrading the shotgun, because I'm going to be getting the riot gun. So you guys who really enjoy the riot gun... Anytime. Yeah. So if you want the Savage Mutt to spawn, you have to get that, but... I'm not going to do it. Sorry, we need to keep moving. I'm not going to be going back to the, the Chief's uh, house, so... I'm going to go into the right here. Was right about the weather. Uh, as soon as we go outside, into the well, I'm going to crouch. I'm going to also equip a, a kitchen knife. And stab this dude. There we go. Always equip your bat knife to uh, get rid of the enemies. Like that. Get the velvet blue in there. And then we're going to go upstairs. So there's a red herb here. I'm going to be grabbing that and immediately combining it. Look at all of this healing. Seriously. After that, I'm going to run to this girl and stab her. And immediately run back through here.
Then this way. There is a treasure here that we can grab, so we're gonna do that. With Ashley. This way. Okay. There we go. You to open it from the other side. Wait for her to open it. Wait for her to open it. Okay. All right, I'm running in. Work. Grab this. The elegant spangle. Run out, run out, run out, run out. You don't have to get that if you feel unsure there. So we need to go up here. And hopefully Ashley is with us. Shoot this dude because he's annoying. Okay, let's go Ashley. Equip your um, TMP here, because we're not killing these guys, we're just stunning them. There we go, just run, just run, just run Ashley. Okay, Ashley got grabbed, so... We need to go, Ashley. We need to go. Shit. The problem is that all of these people are Plagas. That's the problem. I can't get up, so whatever. Ashley, let's go. Okay, we're running into problems and we don't have stuff to deal with these problems. I'm coming for you. Let's go, Ashley. Ashley, why are you like this? Ashley, please. So if the cowhead dude is there, I'm just gonna jump down and go through the house. There we go. Resources L in there. All right, just get out of here. Get out of here. Hopefully Ashley follows. Where are you going? I'm saving you. I'm eating this egg also. That was a big, big waste of time because we need to get to Louise under an hour and 30, but that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to go up to this, this thing right here. I'm going to save right there. And Ashley should be next to me. Run past. Stun this dude. I'm just gonna run. I'm not gonna get that treasure because it's not necessary. Just run past that guy. Now we're ready. So hopefully you had your sniper rifle here. Uh, that should help you. But it's not strictly necessary. Alright, we're gonna play this super safe. We're going to shoot this guy so he doesn't enter. You can actually shoot the barrel. 
Alright, grab the stuff. And then let's focus on this window right here. Grenade. So the red nine is actually helping quite a bit here. We basically need to kill enough enemies to get the the boards to drop. Like I say right there. There we go. That's this is like the most safe way of doing this. Laga. That's a plaga. Oh, there's the board. All right. Uh, I'm actually gonna throw a grenade. There we go. Make sure you have at least 40 SMG bullets here. Dude, this mother guy. That's a, if that's a flag, I swear. Why are they all here today? There we go. It would be nice if Luis was actually killing people, but you know. Whoa. Did that really just happen? Wow, that actually just happened. Anyway. Wow, that actually just happened again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, I'm going upstairs, fine. Need a knife. Okay, you need to have a knife here, by the way, to kill the boss, the mini boss. Okay, I'm gonna heal here. Once you kill enough enemies, the uh, the brute will spawn here. But uh, yeah, so essentially, what I like doing is going back and forth, up and down, cycle through the enemies. There he is. Okay, there he is. So I'm just going to shoot him in the face. And then go up to him. Knife him. Easy. That's how you get rid of him. If he's still alive, just finish him off with your TMP or shotgun. Grab the emerald and run away. That's it. We did it. Leon! Alright. That's how you do the cabin. Well... That's one way of doing the cabin. Of, of course, you can just play it more safe and sit in the corner, which is what most people do. But yeah, it, it's fine if you take damage. Listen, you should have a ton of health right now. All right, so here we are. We're about one hour in, one hour and 20. So if you are under two hours, you're fine. Right now. We have to finish this entire segment under two hours. Yeah. Remember, we're playing hardcore, we're not playing professional, but we still have to finish the game in under 5 hours and 3rd you get S+. Plus. <clears throat> to unlock the chicken hat, and for, you know, just just to get just to get some unlocks. Okay, I'm grabbing everything. I'm going to be selling the W870 and the Velvet Blue. After that, I'm going to be purchasing the Riot Gun. And I'm going to be repairing my knife and powering up, powering up my shotgun. Make sure your shotgun's equipped on a shortcut and then let's go. Right. So. 
we're gonna stealth this part. Use the knife on this guy. And then I'm gonna be equipping my other kitchen knife. Wait for this guy to turn around. And we're gonna stab him right here. Don't accidentally alert them. Then I'm gonna equip my pistol. And then once I'm up here, I'm going to get the yellow diamond. The money. And then make sure that Ashley is up here and I'm gonna shoot this guy to death. I'm shooting him to death because he's the shooter. There we go. Then I'm shooting that barrel right there. And then as soon as they all start running in, see how they're all running in? I'm gonna stick to the right, okay? Stick to the right, grab these items. And then we're gonna stick to the right here. Don't step on these traps. And then we're gonna hit these, these uh, doors immediately. The doors will make uh, Ashley pretty much just respawn next to you. And then before we actually go in here, there is a guy that we need to shoot. There we go. Punching him and then I'm using my knife on him. That should take care of him. He does have a plaga, so make sure that you knife him if he's on the floor. All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're going to do something very risky. We're going to take out the Chainsaw Sisters. And ideally, we want to have a knife. And it's like we are at 1 hour and 23, which is perfectly okay. So it's perfectly fine. Sure is quiet. There is a spin all up there, but I'm not taking it. You can if you have the map, if you want. All right. Grab the handgun ammo. The hand grenade. Gonna knife this girl to death. And then we can just shoot this guy. Hopefully he doesn't have a plaga. And he doesn't, okay. There's shotgun shells right here. And a yellow herb. And some boxes right there. Okay. So, I'm gonna tell Ashley to wait up here in the locker. Just to make sure that she doesn't get grabbed, you know. Just to make sure. Wait here. What? Wait there, inside. Okay. Grab the kitchen knife, or whatever it is. Grab this thing. And now we can take out the Chainsaw Sisters. Alright, I'm gonna jump down here. Break this. Break this. And this. And equipping my TMP. Make sure your TMP is in your hand. Like, literally in your hand. Then we're gonna grab this. I am flattered. I'm a one lady type of guy. Stab. Then I'm getting out of here. Mainly because there's a dude here that's annoying. Just getting out of here. Shoot, shoot this dude in the face. They all have plagas, by the way. Really? He just punched me. Anyway, we're luring them into this area because there's a fire thing right there. So I'm going to combine this and I'm going to throw a hand grenade here. Or use your shotgun. Okay, that was bad. I hate this guy so much. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Alright, she's dead. 
now all we have to care about is the plagas. All of these guys need to be plagas, so we can just one use one flashbang to kill them all. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a flash grenade. Hopefully I don't get hit in the process. For you. There we go. Oh, one of them isn't. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Uh... Uh... Okay. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Stay back. Come on. I'm gonna call Ashley, and make sure you remember to grab the gem that the Bella sister drops. One of them drops the. One of them drops the uh, lever, and the other one drops a gem. So we're taking the gem, as well. All right. So now we can just leave. Make sure that Ashley is in follow mode, not idle mode. Because a lot of the time she no, I'm, I'm okay. she gets put into idle mode accidentally. Did well back there. Seems this isn't your first time creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. Alright, let's go. Gonna grab that. Oh, got a knife. Yo, yeah, so ideally you wanna have two knives going into this boss fight. And yes, we're about to do a boss fight. Grab the flash grenade and all the ammo in the world here. And there is also some gunpowder. So I'm gonna be equipping look at all this look at all this stuff that I have. I'm gonna be equipping my flash grenade in my hand. Immediately turning around. Follow up the path right here. Then I'm gonna throw a flash grenade here. And just run. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Then when those do start running, shoot the red barrel. Don't worry, they often die with one hit. Using my TMP. And then immediately turn to the left. And that's it. Listen. You're the one he wants. If we see him again, you run. You. I'll do my job. Okay, so we're going in with at least. Hello, we're gonna save here if we're not playing professional. We're going in with at least two knives. Welcome. What can I interest you in? I'm going to be seeing if I have some stuff here that I can do. I don't. Okay, so I can use the yellow diamonds, but I'm not going to. Um. Yellow diamonds only give me 22,800 here, which is fine, honestly, honestly, that's fine, but we're going to save the yellow diamonds. Welcome. So I'm going to sell the elegant elegant headdress, you all the way shranky, Ruby's and makes no that's it. The price. That's it. Well, that's all. That's our choice to make. Thank you. And then I'm going to I really want to repair my knife, so let's... Um, not too sure if I should do it though. To suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Okay, so I'm actually going to I'm actually going to repair my knife. And that's it. That's good work. Pleasant All right, I'm going in with these weapons. One damage, two damage on my shotgun. Uh, 2332 three, two on my red 9 and 333 three, three on my TMP. Be careful. Alright, let's do this. I probably should make some flashbangs. Alright, immediately we're gonna go upstairs. Immediately. He's gonna attack us immediately. So get ready to 
Carry him. And dodge. Drop the knife there. And I'm gonna sit in this corner. Sometimes he doesn't attack you in this corner. That's why we're sitting here. And I'm, un I'm unloading my TMP on him. There we go. Try to hit his eye every now and then. Then use your knife on it. I'm actually gonna equip my other knife. And then immediately go back up. Get ready to dodge, by the way. Using the shotgun. There we go. Alright, reloading, repositioning. Back here. There we go. And then I'm gonna jump from the top rope. Boom. Okay. Immediately gonna grab the items. If he if he does that, well, I was late. Instead, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm reloading. Yeah, he hit me. So fighting him up here is much better because you can just run from left to right. See, you have much more room. But yeah, you want to be hitting him when uh, he equips those barrels. He will say something... Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. I'm gonna jump down. Dealing damage with my TMP. I'm standing here, I'm standing here. Try to hit his back, that's his weak spot. He has an eye on the back. Get ready to dodge. He's almost dead. When he says Lord. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I'm gonna make some shotgun shells. Actually, I'm just gonna make some... I'm just gonna make some TMP. TMP might take a while though. And equip the TMP. There we go, hit him with that, and then TMP him. And there we go, that's it. He really is weak. Alright. Get the Mendes False Eye, and then we can sell that later. That's it. That's how you do it. Tell Ashley to follow you. She will be in idle mode after that boss. I won't let that happen. Shoot this final treasure. And that's it. We're done with the village. One hour and 34. Easy. Alright, we're gonna skip here the cutscene. Very good cutscene, by the way. This game has great cutscenes. You can save your progress here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to actually... Save at the merchant. But of course, it doesn't really matter. Unless you're playing professional. Alright, I'm gonna shoot these guys. I'll wait for that bird. Okay, maybe not. Right, go around. Get all this stuff. And now we are ready for our upgrade ticket. We're almost ready. So at this point, if you were playing professional, you would have your upgrade ticket if you did the Savage Mutt quest. But we didn't do the Savage Mutt, so we are currently at 25 spinos. You should be at about 24. So I'm gonna sell vintage, vintage. And then for this thing, we still don't have enough. Actually, we do. We do have. There we go. Now we can complete the bangle. Sell that. A deal well struck. And we can purchase. We can purchase this. So if you if you didn't buy the rifle, you can buy the stingray here if you want. But I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to be getting my sniper rifle here and the scope. And I'm going to be upgrading it. So make sure your sniper rifle is at level three. 
weapons are in good hands. And then, um, I guess your pistol could be upgraded here too, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do water hall here. So you could upgrade your sniper. So let's um, let's increase the ammo capacity on the sniper and the reload the speed. So three, two, two, one, and then we're gonna max out yeah, the shotgun here, oh, level yeah. three. And then the oh, rest of the money, you can just do whatever you want, if you want, or you can just wait. Um, I'm actually gonna increase the reload speed of the shotgun. So three, one, two, one. So red nine is two, three, three, two. Shotgun, riot gun is nine, uh, three, one, two, one. DMP is three, three, three. The SR sniper rifle, three, two, two, one. All right, let's go. Anytime. If you don't have the same upgrades, that's perfectly okay. Uh, we're actually gonna use some makes shotgun shells here. Make sure you have some shotgun shells ready, because we're gonna be clearing out some areas. I'll be equipping my sniper rifle on number six. There you go, and make sure it has. The parts, the scope. Okay, now I'm gonna run past this guy. Hopefully he doesn't eat your head. If you're fast enough, you, he shouldn't. All right, you can just dodge him. But yeah, we're saving here, by the way. We saved at the castle. I'm just gonna spam F here, so it skips the cutscene. And I'm gonna equip my pistol and shoot this girl. Before she shoots you in the face. There we go, and then before we reload, shoot that. Right there. And then as we go up, there is something that we need to shoot, and that's that thing. And then shoot shoot this thing right here and then there's gonna be another cutscene I'm gonna shoot that from here there we go and sometimes this girl dies to the explosions otherwise just kill her it's whatever up to you anyway we're just gonna continue onwards I'm not getting the treasures that are DLC Kill this guy, sometimes he has to plague us. And then I'm gonna turn around and there should be a dude running. Or there's a dude here, so I'm gonna equip my kitchen knife and then I'm gonna stab this guy. There we go. They're very aggressive today. It's okay if she gets grabbed. Just don't let them take her forever. There we go, just just kill these guys. It's good distraction. Anyway, wait here for all of the cannons to go off. Yeah, and we're gonna run. I'm gonna run. There's gonna be a Plaga here, so we can either knife him in the back. That's the best option, by the way, knifing him in the back. Or just take him out, however you want. I'm gonna shoot this. And then from this window, I'm gonna look out, and there's a barrel right there. We're gonna shoot it. Wow. There we go. And before we go, let's take out this. Look at you. And then we're gonna run, 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 run. Shoot this guy to death. Hopefully he's dead. There we go. There's another thing right there get that and from here we can either use the cannon or you can just snipe them I actually prefer using the cannon so don't let them rush rush at you take out some enemies and then we're gonna turn around all the way to the right and shoot that and then take out the door and then I'm gonna use the cannon again to take out these enemies. There we go. It's free kills, basically. There we go. That's it. 
And then we're gonna jump down the hole. Because we are actually getting the treasure here. And there's also a medallion that we need. Because we need all the medallions right now to get the upgrade ticket. Remember? Spinos. Yeah, we're doing that. So you can either choose to put the upgrade ticket on the sniper rifle or the TMP. I 100% putting, recommend putting it on the TMP because the TMP is just amazing and it should make everything a lot easier. But yeah, if you want to experiment, you can try the sniper rifle. Anyway, here's the last one. And that's six out of six medallions. Medallions three. Grab all the loot here. And now we are ready to fight the Garador with our sniper rifle. So we snipe, we should have a ton of sniper rifle going into this uh, water hole. So hopefully you do have a lot of heals. Also, the Magnum ammo there, even though I don't have Magnum. And I'm probably not going to use the Magnum during this run. Okay, I'm actually gonna save before we do anything. Once again, if you're playing professional, check out my guide for professional. Okay, so we're gonna purchase the exclusive upgrade ticket. Hopefully you have enough. If you don't, there is a scripted, there's a scripted spinel later on. I will show you where. So, um, from here I'm gonna sell the, ha the Magnum ammo. And then I'm gonna use the exclusive upgrade ticket on the TMP. You have a ticket, do ya? You've got there we go. So now my, my TMP deals a ton of damage. Make sure your sniper rifle has three power at least. And then for the rest, it's up to you really. I'm I'm just gonna choose to repair my That's knife. Good work. Just to make sure I have a knife going into this. Okay. And there's some Pistol ammo there if you want. And then immediately we're gonna equip our hand grenade. At least one hand grenade we should have at this point, of course. And throw it in the middle so it takes out all those guys. And then take out the next guys. With your pistol. If this guy rushes at you, just shoot him in the in half. There we go. This guy also. And we're gonna take him out. Don't worry if you take damage here. This is a common place where a lot of people take damage. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay. So before we grab anything, we're just gonna tell Ashley to do this so we can grab stuff while she opens the door. This is not super necessary, but it just saves you some time. I need you to open it from the other side. Use this. If you didn't use your small key, you can use it here. But don't worry about it if you don't have it, it's fine. We we could come back later, but I'm not going to, probably. There we go. There is some yellow herbs here that we need. 100% desperately need to combine this. Come and we're going to tell Ashley to follow me. I'll grab that. Might as well combine some green herbs. There we go. You can stop yelling at the screen. <laughs> anyway, we need the perfume bottle here. Very expensive. Very expensive. Very beautiful and very expensive. We need to grab it. Submachine gun ammo is so important right now. Okay, so we should be loaded up. Get the treasure. Ooh, some more submachine gun ammo. Very nice. Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. Grab this, combine it with the red. There's some shotgun shells here too. They keep animals down here or something? And we're gonna grab the key. Skip that and don't, don't scare the Garador. Okay, we're gonna run. Now we run. Now we run. And then we're gonna sit down here. And then we're gonna aim. And hopefully you hit him in the, 
Parasite. If you don't, that's okay. We can just reposition. And try again. There we go. And then we can throw a flash grenade. And then... Once again... Shoot him in the plaga. If you have another flash grenade, I suggest you throw it. After you hit him on for the second time. There we go. It's okay if you take damage. You can mess up. Don't worry about it. We have a ton of heals anyway. Oh no, what happened there, Garador? No. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, he fixed himself. <laughs> what was that? Oh, weirdo. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um, let's go. Sorry, I say okay a lot. Alright, let's grab that. So ideally you want to hit him two to three times with the sniper rifle and flashbang him once. That's it. That's all it takes. Alright, tell Ashley to follow you. We're right about the animals though. All right, so this is where you would get your spinel that's scripted right there. And that should be the last one that you need to get the exclusive upgrade ticket. Um, that is a expanded treasure, so we're not taking that. So we're going to grab this. We're going to solve this puzzle right here by shooting that. That. And that. Bloody sword. Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. Get this. Golden sword. Rusted sword. I'm gonna insert the golden sword on there. The bloody sword. Grab this. The rusty one. And the iron sword. Right there. There we go. I'm gonna equip the compan knife. Well, boot knife. There's a snake in there. Watch out. Now this. Make sure you grab everything because we are gonna need everything. Gold bangle right there. Hang on. This is the same room as before, isn't it? Guess we just circled around. Grab this. Jump across the chandeliers. What are you doing? Don't even think about trying this yourself. Take this. Please, and we're gonna hit this. Leave this one to me. And I'm gonna grab the treasure here. Golden hourglass. And actually should open the door for you, don't worry. But she can she actually here. does Over here. kick down Wait. the ladder. And she also should have opened the door. Seriously, who does that? What are you, my mother? What are you, my mother? All right, Ashley, are you gonna do it? Good girl. <laughs> okay, let's go. Grab this. Skip that. Not this guy again. I'm gonna open this and we can save here for playing hardcore. I am playing hardcore, so I'm saving. There's some items there. And there's gonna be a thing right here. Now let's get ready for Waterhole. Hardcore waterhole. Who doesn't love a waterhole? So I'm gonna snipe this one. 
and this one. It's important that you have your your power up to three at this point. And I'm gonna go and take this, and we should have a grenade. So I'm gonna throw a grenade there. Shotgun the sh shotgun the shield guys, and then finish them off. I'm gonna position myself here. There we go. I'm gonna position myself behind this pillar, and I'm gonna equip my sniper, and I'm gonna take out these people. Okay. Actually, get up. Yeah. There we go. Take them out. Damn it. Just take your time, really. Just follow the same route that I'm taking. Go. Grabbing everything that I can from the right side of the the area, and then I'm gonna kill this this person right here. Very important that you kill these. Okay, and then this one, so they don't bother you later. And then take these guys out. They're all plagas. So we're actually gonna make a flash grenade here, if we can. Otherwise, you're gonna have to tank them with your shotgun. So we're gonna go up ahead and equip our shotgun, actually. I'm gonna go down here. And I'm going to throw the flash grenade. There you go. I'm sure that this guy is dead. He's often a plaga also. So make sure that he is fully dead. Grab the halo wheel. Shotgun in hand. Another plaga. Looks like the other plaga did not die. There we go. You have to kill them when their mouth is open. Just don't get close because they will one shot you. They're very easy to deal with, as long as you keep your distance. The PMP is really good, or shotgun, as you can see. Just take your time. Don't willy-nilly shoot, okay? Just don't, don't, don't just lose your mind. Don't rush it. Take your time, seriously. Like, trust me. Take your time. You don't have to rush it. All right, we're really re reloading everything, including our sniper. And, uh, take this out. Make sure that no one can shoot you here. Sometimes there is a shield guy that comes in later. While you're doing this. And there's a there's an arrow person. I'm gonna move out of the way. Even if Ashley gets hit here, it's okay. You can... Shoot this person. There we go. Don't worry. There's gonna be another guy here. That has a plaga. So I'm gonna shoot this... Kill him to death. That guy often has a plaga. Shotgun time. That's the plaga I told you about. Run forward. That's another plaga. Shotgun is your best friend. Shotgun time. Damage. Okay, okay, okay. Don't be on fire, please. I'm going to actually use this green herb and this viper. Help Ashley here. Otherwise, if she gets hit again, she dies. And it's sniping time. This is why it's so important to take out these guys. They also respawn. 
by the way. Just in case you're wondering. They're annoying. I know. Alright. Let's make sure that we grab everything because we need everything. We need everything. We literally need everything. Reload everything. Always make sure everything's reloaded. Always make sure. And now we're ready for the halo wheel. Ready to use the, way the halo wheel here. You shouldn't have any trouble going upstairs. But make sure you know We're not out of the woods where yet. your items are located. So there are some items here that you can grab. It's okay if you don't grab them, but since I need ammo, I'm just gonna go up ahead and get them. There we go. Another vase. Is that what that's called? Anyway, 300% that's not that important, but it helps. It all helps. Okay. With about seven bullets, you should be able to do this. Or even, yeah, around seven. Seven or more. We're gonna use this before we do anything else. And after that, we're gonna turn around. Grab the resources L here. Gunpowder. And tell Ashley to go upstairs. Okay. Now we have to defend Ashley. If you have armor Ashley here... She can't die, okay? but she will still lose yeah, if you I'm let her. Nervous. Like, she will still get grabbed, I mean. I right, snipe these guys. There we go. You can just shoot him with your red nine, but this is faster. And more effective. There we go. Sniping on PC. So satisfying. Immediately turning around and shooting these guys. Be careful. Kill this guy or girl. They keep coming. These shotgun guys are the most annoying. Alright, this is where I'm gonna use my TMP. And I'm gonna reload all of my stuff. There we go. This guy is so annoying. Anyway. As you can see, Red 9 is just... It's enough. You don't have to use the sniper if you don't want to. But yeah, Red 9 is enough. It helps. Okay, that's it. Alright, when she says that she's done, we're just gonna tell her to follow us. Alright, I'm pressing control to tell her to follow me. And I'm reloading everything and I'm just running. Because if she just runs, she will follow you. Alright, reload everything. Hurry up. Okay. And I'm gonna grab this stuff. And that's it, we did it. We did water haul, no problem. We took we took some damage, but it's fine, we recovered. There we go. Ashley, are you alright? Yeah. And that was the most annoying part. And that's it. No problem. We did it. You did it. We're awesome. Okay. I really like this uh, cutscene of her. <coughs> hey, you sure you're good? Looks like really good. Place. You okay? I think so. Instead of worrying about her, worry about your own skin. Foolish little lamb. Ouch. Temperance, child. Ashley, 
Oh god. Such a cool cutscene. And then she gets lost in the maze. Anyway, we've made it. So we're gonna save. We are pretty much done with the most annoying parts. So as soon as we regain control of Leon, we're gonna equip our pistol and shoot that nest right there. And we're gonna grab some fish. And you can eat that fish if you want. But most importantly, grab the rhinoceros beetle right there. There we go. Black bass. And another black bass. And we can just send the shotgun to the storage to make some room. And get this black bass. This is all healing that you can use if you don't have any healing for some reason. And I do have some healing, so I'm just going to sell it. Welcome. Got so at this point, he sale, doesn't have what we need. So we're going to sell the Scratched Emerald. This is another thing that you can sell for Spinos. If you if you don't have enough, if you don't have enough Spinos yet, you can just sell it here and you can get your upgrade tickets. So I'm going to sell this that. Is what I'm talking about. And I'm also going to sell, let's see. <laughs> well done. Don't get and I'm also going to sell some fish because, yeah, I'm going to sell the large come. fish. Got a selection of good things Lord on fish. pleasure doing business with you. And I'm also gonna sell the rest of the fish. Not bad. So the body armor is now available. I'm not gonna purchase it because I don't need to. Um our red nine uh yeah, you let's upgrade our net red job. nine. There you are. There we go. Let's max out our net red nine at this point. There's no reason not to. Uh the shotgun, the sniper rifle, I'm just gonna hey, leave it like that. With the rest of the spinels, we're gonna actually work towards getting another upgrade ticket. So, yeah, we're gonna be saving up. Get the riot gun. Um, I guess I'll keep the sniper rifle with me, just in case. Okay. Let's go. This is another point of annoyance. Like, it's annoying <laughs> to some people. Um, but we're amazing, so we're gonna be doing it. So, running, running, skip, skip, skip that, don't grab anything, just, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, we need to kill the red guy, so we're gonna use the TMP on him, and then we're gonna stab him, like this, or just shot him, him. however you kill him, it's up to you, grab the crimson lamp, Hopefully you didn't get grabbed, because I did. I'm an idiot. Grab the treasure right there, mirror with pearls and rubies. And then I'm gonna run up here. These guys really love grabbing. And after that, I'm gonna go up to this little candle, and then I'm gonna jump over. I don't know what was that, but it's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna leave. I hate that he did that, so I'm just gonna shoot that. For revenge, purely for revenge, so they don't grab me when I put the lamp. Because they will catch up to you sometimes while you're putting the lamp here, because you are waiting for this thing to get to open, so it's good to just turn around quickly and shoot them. I'm gonna open that door. I guess there is something in there, but no, there isn't. We're just gonna open it, just just for convenience. And then we're ready for the maze. We're ready for the maze. There is an extended treasure there if you want that. I don't want it. We're doing pure vanilla. Nothing, nothing Last DLC. I thought I'd run to here. Grab the velvet blue. Grab the lithographic stone C. Extravagant clock. The lithographic stone B. There's another extended right there. Lithographic stone D. And we are ready now to insert all these stones. So let's just insert them. It doesn't matter what order you do them. Just, 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 just do it. This one goes here. 
there is a proper way of doing this. I want to do that. But it's okay. We're not perfectionists. Even if we lose two seconds extra there, it's whatever. So there will be an, a Plaga encounter here. So you better be ready with your TMP or shotgun. Or you can risk it with your pistol. If you do with your pistol, I will, I will be happy. Before we go though, don't forget this. There we go. I will personally congratulate you if you did it with the pistol. But uh, yeah. Grab the key right here. Don't go back and use the key. Don't. We're gonna use it at the battlements. Don't go back and use the key, because we're gonna get we're gonna do it right now. Right. Big spider moment. Skipping that. And I'm using the TMP just to make sure. When the spider jumps off, just equip your pistol and finish him off. So TMP, then spider, pistol. Easy. Done. Don't need to use shotgun. Don't you don't need to use grenade or anything. Um, since I'm hurt, I'm gonna do a double. There we go. And we can sell some stuff here. So the extravagant clock, the best way to do the extravagant clock is to do a red. And another red. But we're gonna save for that for later. So let's just not worry about that for now. Don't Get worry, yourself. all of these treasures will be sold later. Don't you worry your pretty face. Okay? Alright. So just to make sure we're gonna snipe these people. So they don't shoot us. There we go. That's it. Then I'm gonna shoot this with my pistol. And then as soon as the bridge comes down, I'm gonna throw a grenade. Oh, you expecting me? And if they don't die, let's just finish them off. With our pistol. Or whatever weapon you want. Remember, TMP for these guys that are running. And then pistol reload. It didn't get off of him. And pistol for the little spidey. Yeah, that's what I meant when I when you should have killed both of all three of those, but it's okay. If you dodge, just know what you're doing and you can adapt and overcome. Alright. Grabbing this. I'm going upstairs. Gonna grab these. And then we're gonna do a little skip here. So, we're gonna position ourselves here. You see that little yellow thing? Might be a little bit difficult for you to see. There we go. And shoot that. And we're gonna go up the... We're gonna go up the ladder. These guys will catch up to you. So watch out. There's a Salazar doll right there if you need it. Man, this with ray tracing looks amazing. I'm playing on a 4090. And I, this is my first time I play on a very high-end PC. <laughs> okay, make sure you kill this guy. Oh, you tripped. There we go. Make sure he is dead. Like, make sure that he literally is dead. Because otherwise he will annoy you the whole way. Alright. So we skipped a little part there. If you can shoot the little yellow thing like I told you, just make sure you uh, use a grenade there. Anyway, skip that cutscene and immediately stand next, like right here. Crouch and then immediately jump down and then run. Just run, continue forwards. Just continue forward. And then as soon as we go through this archway, I'm gonna stick to the left, stick to the left. Don't stop running. Get this. Get this. Don't stop running. 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 Jump down. This guy will be annoying. 
close this. There we go. Jump down. That was BS, because my Leon decided to keep running. But it's okay, we have a ton of we have a ton of healing. Then we're gonna turn around. If there's any enemies, just shoot that. And there's also a ruby right here. There we go. There's more enemies here. Make good use of that red barrel. There's more, wow. Usually there's only like two. There we go. Make sure they are dead. I'll grab this item right here. Ooh, there's a spinel. And then I'm gonna go up the ladder. Hopefully this giant won't hit me. Alright. So remember that key I told you to grab? We're gonna use it here. We're gonna use it here. This is this is the correct way of using this key. That way you don't have to come back. I'm gonna shoot this. Or knife it. Make sure that she is dead, otherwise she will annoy us forever. Not bad, right? I'm gonna shoot this. And then we're gonna stand here, wait for him to throw the rocks. Trigger him and then go back down. Then as soon as he throws the rocks, go up here and shoot him. Ugh. And that's it. And then we can open the door. All right. Open for traffic. Take all these guys with this. Watch out, there is an enemy here that's kind of creeping. All right. There she is. Wow, very, very resilient women. Okay, they're strong. Okay. I'm gonna grab all of this, and now we're ready. We did it. Good job. You did one of the most annoying things. And that honestly is one of the most annoying things. It really is. I hate that segment. All right, so we're currently at two hours and 11. That's okay. We need to finish the, we need to finish my we need to finish this segment in under four hours. We need to finish the um, entire castle in under Ashley, four hours. Where are you? All right, here we go. All right. Now we can save here. Once again, if you're playing professional, please refer to my professional guide where I show you where to save and where not to. Trust me. Alright. Can't believe that guy. Grab that yellow herb. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? I'm gonna grab everything here and now we're ready. We're ready to go out. Before we continue there are some things here that we need to do. Alright, so make sure you combine this, shoot this bird, there you go. They do give gunpowder, that's the main reason why I killed them. I'm gonna get that, that's a lot of ammo. Good, good ammo drop right there. Alright, do this one first. There is no correct combination of doing this, but this is just how I'm used to doing it. It's just the most effective way in with my hey, playstyle. Yes. I love your Canadian accent, Ashley. <laughs> anyway. Get this bird. Not bird, but you know. I'm gonna eat this snake. I'm eating the snake because I was hurt. You can do that same too. Okay. So there's gonna be a dog here, so I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay, or he's gonna run away. Okay, never mind. And there is a first aid spray here. And there's also a Salazar doll right there. See the little legs? Yeah. But we are going back. 
I guess we'll get the chest. Isn't there a chest here? Yeah, let's get the chest. We do need some ammo, so... All right. There's gonna be another dog here, so watch out. Don't get scared. Okay. I'm gonna actually equip my shotgun here because I don't want to get damaged. You can kill them before they turn, but it's whatever. There's another dog right here. Get shot in. There we go. This is why Red 9 is so good if you know how to use it. There we go. And then the elegant chessboard here. I won't bore you with that <laughs> story again. If you want to hear the story, check out my professional guide. This is very, very cool. <laughs> anyway, true fans will know. True fans will remember the elegant chessboard. Anyway, we're gonna go up here and enable the banner. And we only need one more. And we're gonna go up here. We could just knife that, but it's whatever. Alright, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, nice. Oh, that's actually quite nice. A boot knife and a heavy grenade. That was really good. That was a really good up. That was a really good uh, decision. Grab this. And the spinel. Holy mmm. Okay. There's another dog scare right here. Shoot him. It's fine. Whatever. Get wrecked. Destroyed. Wow. Sorry, Ashley. Anytime. Grab the flash grenade from the dog cell. And we're ready. We're ready. Uh, Tell Ashley to use the lever and immediately turn around and kill the dog. Uh, dude. Freaking dog. <laughs> We're fine. We're good. It's okay. Be careful. Don't you worry. Alright. That's the last one. We're 2 hours and 15, 16. That's a good screenshot right there. Now we can finally get out of this maze. Yeah. Matalo. So I'm gonna look to the left immediately. We can actually stop these guys from getting her if you have a good weapon. There we go. I'm gonna use my TMP to stop him. Make sure they are dead, because they, they they don't die easily sometimes. Like I said. There we go. Alright. Reloading everything that I can. And now I'm ready. There's going to be some dogs, so just book it. Just run. Run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. She will follow. Just run up the stairs. And that's it. Once you touch the double doors, you know it's safe. We're gonna shoot this. I'm gonna shoot this with a pistol. Get the shotgun shells. Reload All this. Must be this way. There's some items in here. There's a treasure right there. Look, there's a statue up there. Yeah. You're right. There is a statue up there. Shoot that thing. There's a rat here that we we're going to kill on the way out. So we're going to tell Ashley to sit down on this one. Eat here. No thanks. And then we are going to sit down with the one with the bread. And then we're going to do this. And that's how you solve that puzzle. Leon. Looks like we figured it out. Alright, so. After that, combine this. 
shoot that. And we're gonna grab everything from here, and that's it. That's how you do this entire puzzle. Doesn't require you more than one minute. And before we leave, we shoot the pest. The rat. So from here, before we go to the left, we're just gonna take out this. This thing. So we're actually gonna save here. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. He does have some items in stock, doesn't he? Um Welcome. I got some. I'm gonna buy the you. case upgrade. That there's pretty big. Enough to get the job. And I'm gonna sell that. A and Could I'm finally gonna fully dazzle. upgrade. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm finally gonna upgrade my. Yeah, I'm gonna use the red thing, the rubies on the bangle, and sell the bangle. A deal well struck. <laughs> and then fully upgrading my. Okay, I can't. What can I sell? What can I sell? Sell some hand a uh, magnum ammo. Not. And I'm going to fully upgrade. Okay, maybe. I'll come back later. Anyway, I'm going to save here. I'm going to save here once again. If you're playing professional, you're only able to save 15 times. So if you want to know where the um, the medallions are, you can just grab that request and it'll tell you on, the, on your map. But I, I've memorized where they are, so I don't need to go get the map. All right, let's go. We are just about under 1 hour and 30, so... Okay, we're gonna equip a grenade here. And then throw that at the lever. And that should stop the guy from... Doing stuff to it. So we're just gonna kill the red guy with our TMP. And then... And then we're just gonna grab the goat's head. There we go. And before we do anything else, shoot that. Get this. Don't accidentally stab her, because that's happened before. Alright, equip your grenades and throw it. Throw one. It's not going to be enough to kill them, but it deals some damage, as you can see. You can get your distance here. The general rule is shotgun for shields and then pistol to finish them off. Next. There we go. Our pistol is good enough to just kill them on, on its own. Not bad, right? Make sure that they are dead. And that's it. So there's going to be more here. Oh, I one shot at him. Nice. There's another one. Nice. Give me a break already. There we go. And that's it. We took them all out. That's the easiest, easiest way of doing this. Literally. Uh, you can also use a flash grenade if you don't have a grenade there. Um, to kill the red, to do the little skip there that I that you just saw me do with the lever, it's pretty cool. I gotta thank the comment section for once for telling me that back in the day when that was a a new thing. But yeah, we can grab the yellow diamond here. Very important. Very important because we're gonna use it for the crown later. Don't worry. And then before we go, we're gonna grab the red barrel that the guy drops. Cultist. But yeah, I really like this um, mod. The uh, RPD mod is really cool. But I did notice that sometimes you can just see through him because I guess he's supposed to be bigger in this game. So I guess his uniform doesn't fit him. So sometimes his arms are actually invisible. You can just th see through him. But it's okay. You don't really notice it that much. All right, now we're ready for the armor. We're, just to play it safe, I'm going to make sure that I am fully healed. Just to play it safe. So I don't have to worry too much about my health. 
All right. Hey, Leon, there's some armor. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. Little old fashioned for me. Old fashioned for me. There we go. Small key right there. Too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. Same. You look pretty dashing with your armor. <clears throat> and that's the last medallion right there. All right. Last one. Reload this. Equip my TMP. Turn around. Ashley, stay up there. Grab everything. Okay, be careful. Grab everything before you do anything. That way you don't have to fumble through your inventory. There we go. Flash grenade, very important. Right, now we grab the lion's head. And immediately after that, we're going to equip our TMP fully loaded, fully maxed out. And shoot the armor. There we go. That should be enough. And then same thing on this one. There we go. And there's going to be more. This one has it on the back. Unfortunately. It actually will help. Very easy. Alright, now there's gonna be two. I mean three. When there's three, just have Ashley help you. So just kite them around. Just just make them go around. And have her throw it in the middle. There we go. There we go. His turn. Very dangerous thing. Waiting for the other one, Ashley. Good girl. And now we can use our grenade. Done. Easy. Easy peasy. Nighty night. Yeah. Nighty night. Nights. <laughs> Great quote. Sure you're all right. You're not burned. All right, grab all the spinels. Thanks for your help. And now we can do this. We did it. Come on. All right. Tell Ashley to follow you and kill the last vermin. Not the last, but you know, one more. Do not forget this. The cubic device is so important. Okay. Grab that. Grab this. And now we are going to solve the puzzle before we go to Ashley's segments. Oh, I see you took care of there we go. For a quest. Well done. That's it. Now we have a butterfly. Thing. If we have three blues, we can use that. The chalice is actually annoying, but we can just do three greens on the chalice. No problem whatsoever. 30,000 pesetas. And sell the chalice. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty good. Good impression. Okay, um, maxing out my SMG. And then I'm just gonna save my money. And I'm gonna save my literal game here. Saving right before the Ashley segment. Not like it matters too much, but you know. Once again, if you're playing professional, check out my guide. Very cool. Alright, now we're playing as Ashley. Is that a clock? 
So it is seven. Oh, four. Oops. Seven o'clock. Good job, Ashley. You did it. On well, the elevator. And then if the armor scare you... Never mind. You can just freeze them there, but... Yeah. ready to do this we're gonna do this um without taking damage so Didn't I just say I was done? i'm gonna do it my own way so this one and then turn around immediately this one then we're gonna freeze this one and then run we can use the lantern here to freeze them there we go. Then walk through this thingy, and that's the last one. Okay. So. Don't get scared. It's okay. Just use the lantern to, advan to your advantage, and you can do it. You did it. And that's how you do it. There's many ways of doing it, but that's one way of doing it. The heck? I'm gonna grab this one right here. And the half moon is right here. And the star is on the other side. There we go. And then we're gonna grab the emblem. Not too sure why they were keeping it down here. No, no, don't go out. All right, let's run. Crouching. Okay. Good nights and stay still. Alright, I'm gonna run to the right of this guy, and then immediately take a left, and then just straight, just straight, just go straight, and then call the elevator. There we go. Alright, I'm sticking to the left, sticking to the left, sticking to the left, and then run straight past him, like that. And I'm gonna take a right here. And continue onwards by crouching. And we're done. We did it. did it Leon. that's how you do it easy we can save I guess So this is a good time, this is a good time to go back and do a bunch of stuff, if you want, but instead I'm just gonna save here. Alright, so there are a couple of things that we can do here. 
And I particularly just want to go back and get the red barrel, but there will be some enemies, including a red cultist. So we're going to go back and take care of him. Let's do that. All right. So we're going to go to the left here. So I, we, I also have a small key that I can use. So I'm going to equip my grenade here. Immediately, I'm going to throw it in the middle. Because there's a lot of enemies here. There we go. Then I'm going to equip my TMP. Or shotgun. And I'm just going to kill him. There we go. He drops a red barrel. A lot of plagas. There's a lot of plagas, so I'm just gonna grab the red barrel and leave. And I'm also gonna get this. There we go, grab that. And I'm also gonna grab this. There we go. And that's all we need from here. Oh, come on. Didn't mean to take damage there. Alright, let's leave. We're just wasting time now at this point. We don't really need to kill that guy. But I will kill him, because he's almost one shot. There we go. Alright, so now we can go back and actually proceed and do the double guard or fight. That's what I wanted to do, so I can have some extra money. Some extra, some extra, yeah, some extra money um, uh, to do some upgrades later on for my weapons. Not, it's not strictly necessary, but since I have the time. If you're under three hours here, just go ahead and dedicate like five to, you know, ten minutes to do this. Shouldn't take longer than five minutes, though. You can also do this uh, with Ashley, but I, I, I often do... I prefer doing this without Ashley. Because otherwise she gets... Um, she she gets... She, she takes damage from... From the enemies there. Okay, so... Also, before we go, we can complete the rat quest. Which is literally just this room right here. I'm just gonna crouch. And there's the rat. There we go. Yes. There's also a CQBR here. Which you can grab if you really want to. Let's see if we do have time, actually. I'm not gonna do the uh, golden armor, because that's a waste of time. There we go. Just gonna try to avoid these guys. Up this where is it? Where's the stairs? Oh, I didn't open the stairs. Yeah, can't go upstairs because I didn't open them. Oh well. All right, so just the rats. And then there's gonna be a lynx up here also. And that's all we need pretty much from here. go. Little kitty cat. I guess I'll take this too. And that's it. That's all we need from here. And now we can leave. So th those are some extra treasures. Just so you can have some extra money later on. Um, if you want to buy like armor and stuff or you know upgrades for your pistol. But uh, yeah. So I'm just going to go. So, the Novistador we uh, room. Wow, how did I miss? They should be dead with a couple of shots.
Hopefully this guy drops. Nope, he didn't. I was kind of hoping for a uh, blue eye there. Alright, grab this. And that. And we're gonna... We're gonna tackle the Novistador room here. So, this room can be a little bit annoying, especially if you're playing on a controller. I'm playing on a PC, so... And, and it's still annoying, but yeah. So, I'm gonna snipe that one in the head. Wow, Ramon. You are really slacking on your pest control. One down. Luckily, our Red 9 should be dealing a lot of damage. At least level 2 or 3 damage. Then from here, I can also take care of that one there we go and there's one more right there actually just playing it safe taking them out before we actually run downstairs there's gonna be a scripted event right there didn't mean to take damage Don't worry about the drops because we will go back. There you go. They're kind of annoying, but at least they drop gems. There you go. If you shoot them in the head, you can just kick them afterwards. Very cool. Saves you some ammo, I guess. Luckily, I have a lot of gunpowder and small resources. Stab him. Reloading. Oh, come on, dude. You're so annoying. I just need this treasure from here, then I can leave. There we go. And now I can actually make some shotgun shells. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Let's make some more. There we go. Reloading. And that's it. I'm doing left side first. Just just because that's my preference. Before we jump down, we're gonna make sure that there's no one around. There is there is a scripted guy right there. Come on, dude. I swear. <laughs> and the grenades. Just gonna make sure that I'm, I'm grabbing most, most of the things in here. Especially the treasure. Right here. There we go. Ruby. I'm not going down there because there's enemies. Reloading my guns. Just to make sure I have room. But yeah, Red 9 will make this room a lot easier if you have it maxed out. Not maxed out, but you know, powered up. There we go. Stab him. I'm gonna stick to the left, otherwise I will trigger the ones inside. And I'm gonna reload. Just gonna equip my boot knife. And that's it. That took longer than expected, but that's alright. And now we are ready for the double Regarador 
room. So I'm going to equip my heavy grenade. So if you don't have heavy grenades, I recommend you purchase the heavy grenade recipe before doing this. Which is really, really good. R makes this a lot easier. Okay. So we're 2 hours and 43 minutes in. So the strategy here is to use flash grenades. There we go. So I want to aggro. I'm going to grab this flash grenade. I want to aggro them really okay so my goal is to hit them in the back Okay, there we go. Ugh, so annoying. That guy's rushing me. Flash grenade. Oh, he moved out of the way. No, don't hit me. I'm leaving. Throw a f heavy grenade here. Okay, one's dead. And there we go, they're both dead. So, heavy grenade, use the bell, flash grenade, sniper rifle. Sniper rifle deals a lot of damage on their plaga. But yeah, so essentially you just want to use the bells and, you know, just play it smart. The best uh, advice I can give you is... Have a heavy grenade ready when they're both together so you can get them both. That deals a lot of damage as well uh, to their parasite and to them in general. So very good idea to just have the recipe for the heavy grenade just there ready to uh, so you can craft some heavy grenades. But yeah, this is probably one of the hardest parts in the entire game. There's no real, you know perfect guide that I can do for you <laughs> other than just give you some advice on how to do it. Um, basically bolt action, sniper rifle, or stingray, level 3 damage at least, um, flash grenades, heavy grenades, all of that stuff. Alright, we need to hurry up here, because vertigo might take us a while. Talk about sticking the landing. Talk about sick in the landing. Okay. I'm gonna have my red nine ready here. There are there are some novistadores. There we go. So the first one's actually right here. Is he really not 
Okay. He he didn't die with two hits. Three or hits. Two or three hits. There's one. I saw him. Anyway, we'd be ready here. How am I not hitting him? That's BS. Literally hit him. Anyway, let's continue. There's another one right here. And the last one is right here. There's also a fish here that you can kill to eat it. But yeah. Before we go though, we're gonna grab the elegant crown. So we can sell it. And power up all of our weapons. The elegant crown is the most expensive item that you can sell in the game. So before we actually go upstairs of the ladder gonna get the yellow herb in here she probably saved my red and green oh, give me a break. hallucinations all right now we are ready for the vertigo boss this should be very easy so ideally we want a bunch of tmp ammo here before we go though let's get this this should complete our our uh, crown. So for the crown, we are going to be doing all colors. So, and I don't have a green one. So if we don't have a green one, I'm just going to do all, all, all yellow. All yellow gives me 108,000. And for the little cats, we're going to do all red. And for this, we're going to do all blue. There we go. And for this, you can just do whatever. The best way to do this is red, red, red. But I'm just going to do this instead. So now we should have a bunch of money. There's a Salazar doll right here also. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to save. I'm um, 2 hours and 50 before Vertigo. So he he does sell the heavy grenade here, so we're we're probably going to be purchasing that, but before that we let's let's power up our weapons. All right, so I'm selling all of my treasures and the magnum ammo cuz I'm not using magnum ammo. Thank you. So, TMP. I think I'm just going to max out my damage on my shotgun. There we go. Yeah, because I already have the exclusive for the TMP, so I don't really need anything else from it. Um, TMP, and then let's do... Let's do Rate of Fire on the shotgun. Let's do Rate of Fire on the shotgun. And... I am using my Red 9 quite a bit, so... Yeah, I kind of wanna. A weapon to suit your specific needs. I kind of wanna max out my red nine. Of beauty, isn't it? Okay, so um, sniper rifle. Okay, um, <laughs> decisions. Okay, let's max out the reload speed on the. On that. And let's do an ammo capacity and a rate of fire. Let's just max out the rate of fire on this weapon. Let's just max it out completely, shall we? There we go. And then later on, we can purchase the upgrade ticket for it. And then the rest is just whatever. I'm just gonna repair my knife. But we're gonna save it for later. So, oh yeah, let me sell attachable mines because I'm not using them. And I'm also going to buy the recipe for the heavy grenade. 
and some resources L. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Grab that and let's go. So the strategy for Garador for um the strategy for Vertigo is very easy, very simple. <laughs> I'm going to show you here. It doesn't always 100% work, but it's just a very good strategy. So there's a extended treasure right there if you want it. Rifle ammo. I'm going to skip that. Grab this. Oh yeah, we're going to need all the SMG ammo that we can. Alright, get ready to dodge. Enable this real quick. <laughs> there we go, grab this. Grab the herb right here. Uh we can combine it, sure. And then I'm gonna touch this. After that I'm gonna go up to him and I'm gonna s trigger him to spawn. Then I'm gonna run around. And then I'm gonna come up here. And as soon as I see him. Press that button. Then kick him. Unload my TMP and then equip my heavy grenade. Oh, come on. There we go. Use that and then shotgun. And that deals quite a bit of damage. I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to repeat the process. So basically, uh, you want to keep him down as long as possible while, while he's fro frozen. And the heavy grenade helps with that. So, um, so kick, TMP, heavy grenade, and then shotgun or TMP again. There we go. I'm gonna grab this stuff right here. Make sure you grab everything. Okay, he's gonna spawn in. So we're gonna go to the left here. And then as soon as you see him on your peripheral, press it. I'm gonna kick him now. Then unload. And then... Heavy grenade. Again. Then boom, boom, boom. And then that's it. Oh, he hit me. Oh yeah, because he's full health now. He's almost dead, I mean. He will not he will not uh get a he will not run away. He will not hide into the ceiling, so to speak, if he's almost dead. Oh uh, he he actually caught up to me. That's fine though. So we we just need to hit him at least one more time. There we go. Then kick him. Oh, I guess I couldn't kick him. Okay, he's dead. There we go. And that's how you do it. My condolences to your master. And I and then after that I'm just going to go back and grab all the stuff. There we go. That's how you do it. That's why the TMP is so useful. All of those naysayers that tell me that the TMP is bad. It's because they're thinking of with the, of the TMP. Like, they're using the TMP against the regular Gonados. You're not supposed to do that. You're just supposed to use the TMP whenever you need to. But most importantly, against bosses and mini-bosses like that. Because the TMP's best quality is um, the fact that it can shoot very, very fast. So that's it. That's how you do it. And if you if he doesn't die down there, there's another canister of nitrogen that you can use. What's in it for you? All right, let's do it. No need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you. Gonna grab these items here. Now we're gonna do something a little bit difficult. A little hard but you have to do it the same way I'm doing it. Otherwise, you will fail. Okay, so remember that. 
But I know you can do it. I know you're gonna follow my guide. So we are three hours in, almost. We have an hour to finish the entire section of this and the clock tower. So the goal is to finish the island in under an hour and 30. And often the island takes very little time because we're going to be doing some skips that are legitimate. All right. Let's run past everyone. I'm going to equip my shotgun here. This guy will be a plaga. So we're just going to shoot him. And then I'm going to equip my EMP and run past the girl. And get the, uh, get the lever. And then run back down. Then just keep going, just keep going, get this. Open this door, sometimes they catch up to you. Here. But believe in yourself, never stop. Alright, this guy. While we wait for the bridge to lower, we're just gonna take care of these guys. And then when you see her right there, boom, shotgun. I mean, not a shotgun, but barrel. And then if you see another one right there coming up, I'm gonna use a heavy grenade. Boom. Then I'm gonna run to the left here. There's some enemies. There's a guy to the left right here. Shoot him with a shotgun. And then you have two options. You either get out of here or you kill the shotgun the, the the chainsaw people. I recommend you just get out of here. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth killing them. They don't really drop anything good. There you go. I'm gonna equip my TMP here to get out of here. There we go. She might actually be dead. That's okay. I use one of my boot knives. Okay, I don't care about him. I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. That's it. That's how you do that. You don't have to take care of those chainsaw people. You're just wasting time and bullets. So let's just get out of here. If you happen to kill one accidentally, that's fine. Get the uh, get the gem or whatever it is that they drop. But other than that, don't bother too much. But remember, if you decide to go for that treasure, the hourglass, you are going to have to deal with at least one or two of them. So just one, two, one or two enemies there, so... Be careful. TMP is the best way. TMP headshots. TMP headshots are the best way to get out of sticky situations like that. Alright. Shotgun shells. Make sure everything's reloaded. And I'm gonna equip a heavy grenade, although it's not necessary. And I'm gonna throw it. Boom. That should deal some damage to both of them. And then... There we go. So he will do that, and make sure he's stepping on the on that thing, on the hatch, and then I'm gonna hold the button. That's it. That's how you do that. And then you can you can just wait around for uh, Louise to uh, to put the dynamite on this guy's back if you want. I don't recommend actually killing him regularly because that's a big waste of time. Well, I dodged, but I guess I was too late. Alright, Luis, you wanna go uh, do your thing, yeah? Come on, Luis, do your thing. There we go. And then after that, I'm just gonna run circles around the arena. Just running circles around the arena, then eventually you wanna stop here. That, that way, Luis can put the dynamite on him. Just don't let him grab you. Just keep running circles. There we go. See? And then we're going to take him to him. Right here. There we go. Then shoot that and then drop it into the hatch. There we go. And that's how you do it. Easy. And I'm going to grab all the items around here. Just make sure you grab everything, because we need ammo for this uh, the clock tower section. Alright, so, help Louise 
Open this door. I think we can get through here. So for Luis to open the door, you have to get away from the door. Otherwise, he will not open it and will, he will take forever. It look? So I'm just going to stand back. Grab items if you, if you need to. So See? If you stand too close, he won't open it. All right. Grab this. Keeping those things cooped up down here too. Combine that. The underground here is sacred to them. Get that herb. See, this is where All right, now we're ready for the minecart section. Preserved inside ancient deposits of ember. Of course they did. So you can save right before this if you want. If you're on console, you might find it a little bit difficult to do the minecart section. So we're just gonna save here. All right, let's go. Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you calling Sancho? There, it's moving. This should speed things up a bit. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, Whoa. Oh, by the way, what now? Hope you like thrill rides. Gonna lean to the left. We're going off the rails. Lean. Lean. We're going off the rails. Get me ahead. Hey, the cart's tipping over. Yeah, do something about those boards. Shoot these boards. Oh, yeah. And then shoot that. If we don't, we're gonna crash. Reload this. Make sure that you're reloaded. Stick to the right. And then we're gonna shoot this guy. And then right side. Easy. Very easy. If you have the gas mask here, that might help if you're on console. Okay, then left. Then shoot the boards. Then kill the second guy. There we go. Sticking to the right and then left. Then right again. Then after that, right. And then left. There we go. If you take too long, you can just use the uh, barrels. Kill the guy on the right, kill the guy up front. Always reload when no one's around and left. It should be very easy. Shoot that barrel, shoot the yellow thing. And that's it. I'm sticking to the left. Alright. That was the first section. This it? Great knots. Things are just getting started. Alright, before we actually go to the second section, we can take a uh, we can take a a treasure here. So watch out though, these guys are ruthless. It's a red herb right there. There's a flag in. Watch out. Alright, be careful. There's also a Salazar doll here. If you're doing the Salazar dolls, there's one on the rafters here. Around here or something, right there. There you go. That's it. Now we can leave. I'm sure there was other stuff there, but I don't really care. Grab this. Now we can go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Oh, not this again. Oh! 
sticking to the right here. So now we have the chainsaw guy. I'm gonna teach you how to take care of him. So we're gonna shoot him immediately here, a lot. Then turn around, reload. And then shoot him. Okay, make sure that his cart is slightly broken and then turn to the left and kill these guys. There we go. Take them out. So we have to have the Salvador, the uh, Pinto guy, to be mostly broken on his on his little cart, the wooden stuff. Sticking to the right here, shooting the boards. Stick to the left. Reload. Right, and then left. Then I'm gonna shoot that red barrel up there, and that should kill Salvador. And you can actually see him up there, see? Look. And now, next time we hit him, he will be dead immediately. So shooting that red barrel up there actually deals a ton of damage to Salvador. There we go. So after that, boom. See? Done. Don't even have to worry too much. And if just in case you miss, you can just uh, shoot him a couple times. In his on his cart since we dealt that much damage at the beginning that's why i'm giving you like two options two ways out basically there we go take these guys out and that's it we don't have to deal with anyone anymore yeah so just in case if you miss there you, uh, the, the red barrel, you can just continue shooting him and he should be mostly dead. So let me quickly check. Sorry, I had to check if I was recording. Okay. So we're three hours and 10. That's not ideal, but as long as we're under four hours, we're, we're fine. We're honestly okay. Two hours castle, two hours village, one hour and 30 for the island. Sticking to the right and then left. And then we're done. Alright, now we can save. Of course, once again, if you're doing this on professional, <laughs> don't save more than 15 times. Right, I'm gonna shoot this. There we go. That's a request, just in case you were wondering. So you need to shoot the yellow stuff. There we go. And then there's another one right there. go and, and then the uh, fourth one will be at the end Give me a break. we can make it if we circle around come on Pain in the ass. don't let these guys get to you because they will deal a ton of damage also this guy needs to die there we go and just in case, we're gonna, just going to blow him up. We're pretty short on money, so we really need to loot quite a bit. There is someone behind me, I'm pretty sure. So this is another difficult part. There we go. Just going to ca cautiously wait. And then I'm going to go up to this red barrel and shoot it. Watch out, there's this guy. more right there and I shoot the last one there we go before we go though shoot this guy there we go that should take care of him there's also some item he items here so shotgun shells very useful oh yeah I forgot about this guy damn it
There's another one right there. Boom. Grab that. Take these items. Very useful. SMG ammo. Oh, I broke his neck. I'm just gonna shoot this, and this should also open up the the uh, way to the treasure right here. Regular treasure. There we go. Get the golden bar. I don't know who would put that in there, but oh well. Mine and gold makes sense. All right, this is the last part. Very very challenging, but it's okay. If you kill them before they can even actually get up here. That's the best option. There we go. Kill them. There should be about three. And then the fourth one will be this guy right here. And that's it. Now we can go to the merchant here. And if you really want, just save right before Krauser's fight. And I'm going to combine this with this. And we can sell, we can sell the flagon, the, the blue flagon. So like that, fourteen thousand. Well if you have trouble with, if you have trouble with, with Krauser, uh, you can buy the body armor. But I'm actually saving my money for other things like the sniper rifle. A well weapon can make up so I'm just gonna actually. Max out my my firepower on this this pistol, and then I'm gonna put another power on my on my sniper. There we go. And now we are ready. We are ready to fight Krauser. Make sure you have your knife equipped and repaired. By the way, repair your knife. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Much like Luis here. And skip that cutscene. Are you being controlled by that cult? This has nothing to do with them. The free man who made a choice. Too slow. Understand what happened was unforgivable, but that doesn't give you the right to hurt innocent people. Oh, still a kid, holding on to fantasies of what was wrong. Not looking. There you go. Oh, come on, I pressed E. My knife broke, but it's okay, he's almost dead. There we go. If I had kicked him there, he would have died immediately there. But yeah, that's how you do that. Well, essentially the gist of it, yeah. Rest in peace. You won't get away with this, Krauser. And there's another boot knife there, if you need it. There's also some healing scattered around the arena. It's very easy. This boss fight is not that difficult when you know exactly pretty much his moveset is pretty much parry, parry, dodge. For the most part. Parry, 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 dodge. I want to take a picture. Sorry, I'm doing some thumbnailing here. There we go. Oh, get Get out of my game, stupid Tunnigan. There we go. That's that's a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> I'm gonna unequip it immediately. There we go. I'm not gonna cheat. No bonus allowed. Alright, let's go. And if you so desire, there is another small key here. But I don't care. 
I'm gonna grab because I can tell later. But we do care about an egg. So we're gonna go get the golden egg. And we have to hurry up because we're literally almost at four hours. And we wanna be under four hours. So I'm gonna run, run, run with my shotgun in hand because this part is a bit difficult. So let's see if I can combine some stuff. Register my shortcut on that. Gonna actually equip my flash grenade here because there are some plagas. Spider plagas. And then I'm gonna run to the left. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. That should take care of them. Essentially, you just want to throw a flash grenade in there as soon as you can. Wow, she almost actually threw an axe at me. I grab that vase. Grab this. And we're going to sit down. We're sitting down because this makes the egg spawn. The brown egg. Or, yeah, the brown egg. So if you want to... If you want to complete the side quest here, you can just sit down there. And that should make the chicken spawn the egg. Uh, let's see, let's use this. There we go. Get that golden egg right there. We're gonna throw that at the boss and that should take care of him. The chicken didn't lay the egg. Need to wait a little bit for it to, to lay the egg. No time for resting. Alright. You're gonna lay the egg, chicken? Oh, because the brown chicken wasn't in range. Come on, brown chicken. Yes, I'm here. Come on. Come on, lay the egg. <laughs> Did they fix it or something? Come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. I'm going to throw the brown egg. Don't use it. Throw it. There we go. That's it. That's all we needed from here. Making me waste time. But yeah, we do need that golden... Golden egg. Right, let's get the heck out of here. Clock Tower and then Salazar. Salazar should be very, very easy. Very simple. We have a ton of TMP ammo. This will be very useful. So watch out. There's going to be no Vistadores here. They're very annoying. So yeah, look at them. Make sure they're dead. There's going to be a lot of camouflaged ones. Like this one right here. I broke his neck. That's it. That's the only ones that I, we actually had to take care of. And now we are actually ready to do some stuff. I'm gonna save. Save. And I'm also going to repair my knife. You gotta repair your knife here. And then the rest is really just up to you what you want to have. I'm actually going to save my money. Um, you can buy body armor if you want. So we have 29 spinels. We need 40 spinels. 
to get another exclusive upgrade ticket, which is not necessary, but you know, it just always helps having spinels. There's the clock tower. Anyway, Hang in there, Ashley. we're ready. We're ready for clock tower. Hardcore mode, chicken hat. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Rifle. Just skipping that. Before we go, though, we're gonna grab the treasure here. Gold bar. There we go. So this girl actually will shoot you. Uh, there is a Salazar doll here, by the way. At the, at the bottom level on one of the barrel thingies. A barrel, but yeah, that right there. Somewhere around there. It's on top of something. Before we go, though, we're gonna shoot the head. Otherwise, it will give us trouble. The Salazar head. There's also a treasure right here. Grab that. Alexandrite. Get this. Wow, she survived. There's a dude that comes up to us. Gonna split him in half with my shotgun. So from here, I'm gonna grab this stuff. And I'm going to snipe them. There we go. Snipe her so she doesn't bother us while we fight this shield guy. Don't worry. Even if you get hit, it's fine. There we go. Grab everything. Watch how this guy likes rushing. Not too sure why. He does that. There you go. Out of the way. We go. We gotta be careful. Reloading everything. Okay. With my shotgun in hand, I'm going upstairs. Get ready for these two, especially the shot, the uh, shield one. I'm gonna take shelter here, otherwise the ball will get me. Then I'm running, 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 running. Watch out! This one will shoot you. Oh, she has a lot of health. Alright, let's go. And there, there's the last one right here. Suplex? Oh, no suplex. He has to turn around. Alright, now we can actually use this to kill them. So if, we, if you're actually fast enough here, you can actually use it against the red poultice. Oh! That shield is <laughs> stuck a little bit. Okay, reloading everything, especially my TMP, my shotgun. And you can heal here if you want to play it safe. I'm going to not play it safe. Instead, I'm going to enable this and immediately going to jump down. Get this item. There we go. Grab this. And then my TMP ready. There's gonna be a red cultist here. There we go, we wanna kill him as fast as possible. There we go. And turn around, kill her. Pistol only, by the way. You shouldn't need a sniper rifle here. You're actually You're actually slowing yourself down. Okay, there we go. Shoot that. Time it correctly. 
I'm just con the best way the best advice I can give you is just constantly do like s slow spins like this see so you can keep track of who's coming along so this is like for the capacity compliance there we go even if they jump and you if you kill them fast enough that still won't count it would only count if Leon says something about what the lift There are some enemies around here that I need to worry about. There we go, there he is. Kill him as fast as possible. There we go. Just constantly just keep running around. Like, we're not running around, but like spinning around. There we go. We should pretty be pretty much done because I don't think it matters whether these people get upstairs or not. Because especially this one, this one's too slow. There we go. We did it, and that was the clock tower. All right, so we reached the clock tower end at three hours and twenty-eight. We need to finish this under four hours, ideally. There we go. Sniper. Make sure that she's dead. Okay, no ammo. Don't run here, because otherwise you will die. Don't run, just walk. Just walk. Don't sprint. I'm gonna shoot this. That's important. That's a yellow diamond. That's the last treasure of this entire area. So I'm gonna equip my sniper here. And shoot her and that's it that's the last one and there's also an, uh, a yellow herb here and we can save here if you're doing once again if you're doing a professional run follow my professional guide to show you where to save and when not to because you can only save 15 times on professional to get s plus so yeah Welcome. What can I interest so uh, I'm gonna sell all this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna buy Let's resources now. Let us know when you've made some room. There we go. I'm gonna combine. Did I combine the correct thing? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be needing this sniper, but I'm just gonna keep it with me. So. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna do a double like that. And that's it. That's all I need. So I'm gonna equip the egg. Equip it. Don't eat it. Equip it. We're equipping it. We're equipping it because we're gonna be shooting the boss. We're gonna be killing the boss with it. So we're gonna equip it. Make sure that it's in your hand. And then do exactly as I do, okay? So skip the cutscene, run up, aim, and hit him in the body. And then TMP. His face. And then finish him off. There we go. And that's how you do it. Easy. And then you could grab all this stuff around his arena. Because you pretty much just... <laughs> effectively skipped Salazar. And that's how you do it. Very easy. Very simple. No sweat whatsoever. Literally one TMP magazine, an egg, and some shotgun. That's it. Ashley. No time and this is hardcore. Just to make sure. There you go. Alrighty. So now we're ready for the island. We have over an hour and 40 to do the island. <clears throat> C 
trouser. Where do you think you're taking her? Where do you think you're taking her? I think he actually saw me there. He looked at me. My eyes aren't that great, so I can't. I actually can't see that far. Can grab this. Watch how there's gonna be armor, guys. And I'm actually gonna kill them. I'm actually gonna kill them because they drop spinels. There we go. I'm make sure they. Oh, that one didn't drop a spinel. Oh well. Oh, hey, look, it's a rat. Watch out, there's another one right there. But this one's easier because it has the thing in front. Shoot him right there. And that's it. He should sometimes drop spin all. There we go. And that's how you do it. Easy. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. And we've reached the end of the castle section. Make sure you save here, whether you're playing professional or not. There you go. Save right there. And then let's get ready for the island. So, we're 3 hours and 33 in total, as you can see at the bottom left, when you pause the game, that's more than enough. So you can actually shoot the spotlights from here, but it really doesn't matter, because they're going to spot us anyway. Alright, make sure that we actually go to the right here to grab some stuff. There are some items that we want. We have plenty of time. Plenty. There we go. Oh, a spinel. So I should have about 31 spinels. Yeah, 31, so only need nine more. We got another upgrade ticket, which is not entirely necessary. Yeah, so I'm gonna purchase the case upgrade. Hold on. Hello, this. And purchasing the case upgrade. And then. I'm going to. Increase the. Uh, I guess we can increase the rate of fire of the pistol. Yeah, let's do that. And then reload speed. Alright. Always good to have a good sidearm. I do I do use the pistol quite a bit, so yeah. Whatever pistol you have, any any one any pistol works. Trust me. Even Sentinel 9 or Skull not Skull Shaker, sorry, SGO9 and Sentinel 9. They're actually one of my favorites. Some of my favorite weapons. Alright. Going up here and disabling this. And then I'm going to equip my sniper and shoot this guy in the face. Okay. Just need to make sure I kill that arrow guy. Grab this thing right there. And I'm going to get this. Equipping my shotgun. Oh, why did he grab me? He was on fire. Really? Really? A punch into a grab. That's not very good. My goal basically is that of disabling this turret. There you go. on this guy. Annoying. Then I'm gonna go the long way around. And that's it. I don't care about the ups, uh, that, up that ladder. There you go. 
grab this and there should be a red herb right here you don't have you don't have to do it specifically like this as long as you move that turret out of the way that's all you need that one right there and then we're gonna run up or upstairs that's it no need to kill the guy so we're gonna continue running here some of these enemies will uh drops some some of these enemies will have a plaga so we're gonna, just gonna run past them this guy will almost always have a plaga so i'm just gonna shoot him with my shotgun and just run past not worth it fighting them because the brute catches up to you and then you end up dying so just run past them I'm not going to heal yet because there's a yellow herb. If you took damage, if you're like on yellow health, don't heal yet. If you have a red and green herb, there is a yellow herb here that we're about to get. So try to stealth this entire area. The more you stealth, the better. Because you really don't want to be disturbed during this whole thing because we are grabbing a treasure. Which is not super necessary, but you know, it's okay. Oh. Hopefully he didn't alert them. I'm gonna reload all of my weapons. Shoot this barrel. And I should open up the cave. Get the little kitty cat. And then there is a yellow herb here. So if you're on yellow health, I'm going to just eat it. Just to make sure I don't get one shot here. So. There are some annoying guys here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna run past them. There we go. Just run past them. You really don't have to worry about them. There we go. Do this. Even if you get hit, it's whatever. We're about to get a fish anyway. Don't worry. Open that up. And that's it. And then I'm going to shoot this guy with my sniper. Make sure that he is dead. This one also. So that could be a plaga, so I'm just going to use my pistol against them. That's a plaga. Reloading. Take a step back. Oh, they're all plagas. That's unfortunate. And there is another crown here, but this is not part of the upgrades. The uh, this is not part of the DLC, but there is a DLC here also, which I'm not taking. This is purely no DLC, no bonus, no nothing. Just first playthrough stuff, as if I had just bought the regular game, just to prove that you can do it. Because apparently some people, to this day, think it is impossible to get Aspas. It really isn't. It's it's really easy. I'm gonna disable that. Then I'm gonna go up the ladder immediately. And there are going to be some enemies here. I'm gonna grab this. I'm just gonna run past them. Run around here. Disable this. You can kill them if you want, but I really don't feel like wasting ammo. So I'm just gonna eat that. There we go. Then I'm gonna jump down. And we're gonna get the treasure. That's it. You can use your TMP to stun them if you really don't want to kill them. And that's it. Don't waste your ammo on them, honestly. A couple bullets is fine, but yeah. Grab that. Don't bo don't bother with the brute. Don't bother with him, literally. But he will be chasing you. He will be following you. So just keep running. Just keep running because he does follow. Also, same thing here. Don't care about anyone. Don't care about anyone. I'm just running. I'm just running. Sticking to the right. There will be a scripted event here with this dude. Instead, I'm just going to shoot him once in the leg. 
and run past him. Done. Don't need to care too much. We're saving up time here. I'm gonna grab this grenade. Then we're gonna go up until that, that, that broomstick. Did you see that? And then we're gonna turn around and get the treasure. And that should give, an, give us enough time to uh, dodge the guy. So there, there's the fish. See, I told you there was gonna be a fish. So now we can do another crown. No, we don't have red barrels. Oh, well. We need one more red barrel, which we will grab soon. Okay. And now you can just do whatever with your weapons. It's up to you. The 80,000 upgrade. That's what I want. So I'm actually going to... That would be good. Yeah, the thing is it's it doesn't it's not that great though. Welcome. Okay. Never mind. Let's just collect some stuff. Oh, I'm going to save here. Don't forget to save if you're playing hardcore. We have two more. Just yeah, we need to start saving up some money actually, so I can't just be wasting stuff. Okay. I need to save some, save up some money for the rocket launcher. Before we go down there, we need to No, we need to reroute the power. Then before we go to the right to this, to solve the, the puzzle, we're gonna get the red barrel in here. And the first aid spray. And the gunpowder, I guess. Is there anything else? Nah. Okay. That is all. And now this should be... Three. Two. Two. Then immediately, immediately run in and run out. Don't waste too much time. Grab this. And then we're gonna get out of here. Immediately. Okay, he hit me. I'm upset. So since I'm upset, I'm just gonna go in and grab the golden ingots. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Thank you. Now I need to reroute the power again. He will follow and he will run. He's about to slap me in the face. That's okay. Don't even bother. I'm gonna eat my fish. Use this right here. Hopefully I make it on time. And then I'm gonna grab this item. And then we're gonna insert our key card here. And while we wait, we can actually get the uh, LE5, which I'm not gonna be using, but we can just sell it. Hi. Shit, again? Broke my knife. Okay, so the solution to that. The solution to that is Isn't it? Oh.
Yeah. Oh, it's this one. There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> I think I was looking at the... Because um, I have it. I'm going to send this back home. Eventually. But this will, this actually does help you... Uh, shoot some guard... Some, some of their... See? Because it has penetration. I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm not even gonna bother reloading this weapon. That should be almost ready. There we go. Please give me my card. There we go. Get ready to dodge. Get ready to parry, I mean. There we go. That's it. There's no real, like, actual effective way of doing that. I'm sure there's someone out there figured out a way to just constantly uh, dodge them, but it's really difficult to replicate, so it's whatever if you take damage. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I usually kite them out, like, outside of the freezer, and just keep going back and forth. That seems to be the most effective way for me, at least. Alright, there's gonna be some enemies here. I'm just gonna snipe. I'm playing it safe, because running past them will make me take damage. Please die. There's a yellow herb right there. Could be one of the last ones. Usually is the last one that you need in, in a playthrough. There we go. Flash grenade there, very important. Rifle ammo, very important. More rifle ammo here. So I'm just gonna grab everything before we wake up the regenerators. Because otherwise, everything is going to be a lot more difficult. There's a hand grenade there in the middle. There's a hand in there. Uh, combine that. Literally have to grab everything before we actually do. Before we actually go. So I'm actually going to send the scope to... my storage and then I'm gonna equip this on the sniper rifle then after that I'm gonna equip the sniper rifle and I'm gonna look for this wrench there it is so I'm gonna position myself in a way where I can hit two there we go and then this is the hard part there we go we did it that's all we need from here use this Use the wrench on there. Upgrade my level 2 keycard. Then we have to... Shoot that guy in the dynamite. Pretty much just hold him off. There we go. After that's done, we're just gonna grab this. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna eat that and just jump over here and I'm just gonna stick to the right. Stick to the right, stick to the right. Don't care. Don't care about anyone. Jump over here, I guess, if you wanna grab the stuff. And that's it. We did it. We saved Ashley. Use the card there. Reload everything. And yeah, you can do this with the semi-automatic rifle if you want. But I prefer the... The sniper rifle, the bolt-action one. 
it's whatever though. It's it, you can just literally use anything that you want. Any weapons are good for S plus. Anyway, that's it. Now we can free Ashley. That is chapter end. I'm gonna save here. Chapter fourteen. Next, let's do this. We're almost done. Grab the fish. There's also a crystal here, which is very, very useful at this point. Alright, now we can leave. You got it. Duh. I'm pretty much a master of unlocking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gotta appreciate that reference. I have some new goods that might. So we might actually have enough here to upgrade well, our shotgun. I got something new for you. Stranger. We can make another crown, I think, to be able to. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, we're missing a green. Yeah, we're missing the green. Oh well. What are you buying? <laughs> um, let's see. Is this really that useful though? If you want a fighting child, I don't think so. You best tune up your kids. I think I'm gonna start saving up my money. How much is a rocket launcher? Welcome. The rocket launcher is 160,000. Okay, let's. Let's get the exclusive it doesn't come back on the shotgun and get the shotgun shells there. So we're going to make sure that we have two, two heavy grenades here. So we're going to craft some before I forget. All right, two heavy grenades. And then, hey, look, there's that. And there's also a treasure and another another one of those and I found some Alexandrite so I can actually afford the crown later so that's cool you can run past these guys or you can just kill them but since I want to get the stuff here I'm actually gonna kill them a lot of them have plagas though so watch out. There we go. There's another medallion. How oh, is that? Okay, I guess I can't get that. It's out of range. This guy usually has a plaga. So get ready. There we go. Oh, I just slid all the way up the ladder, up the stairs. There's also another... Oh, there's a spindle. Nice. And there's also another thing right there. I know, right? Ashley, you're impressed. Grab this, and now we are ready for the last medallion, which is this one. Medallion's five. Done. That is, like, like I said, it's not super necessary, but it helps. And we're gonna tell Ashley to use this. Oh, 
Wow, really? Make sure that they are dead. Oh, hey. Oh, he's a plaga. Alright, so then there's... Is that an upgrade? Is that a DLC? I don't think that's a DLC. Yeah, that's not a DLC, so we're gonna shoot it. Get the velvet blue. And now we can go through this door. Now Ashley needs our help. Come here, you. Erect. Let's go, Ashley. We don't need to waste any more time here. Let's go, let's go. Run, run, run. Also, this guy's not worth your time. Same here. We're just gonna run past. And Ashley should follow. There we go. And there's an emerald right here. Very useful for the crown. Alright, come on, Ashley. Hurry up. Nice. Yeah. All right, hide in there. We're here. Okay. Okay. Grab this and let's get ready for the cuddly bastard. So this guy, don't worry, he is kind of annoying. There's also some sniper. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait for the thing to appear in his head. Oh god. He grabbed me. Oh come on, I shot you in the face. I hate that. Such a small target. There we go. Done. Ashley, let's go. Jesus. Cuddly bastard. Oh, he does drop a red barrel, so I'm gonna grab that. Not hurt, are you? No, I'm good. Oh, thanks for caring. Alright, Ashley. We go at the same time, okay? Okay. We go at the same time. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. This time for sure. It's okay, we got this. Stop saying that, please. Now. One more time. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't don't worry. Now. Okay. There we go. Kill those rats, because they also give you spinels. So I have 33 spinels right now. But I should have enough later. There are some more rats. There should be one around here. There's one right there. And and if you want to see in the dark, you can just look, see, like this. You can see the rats. There's one. Anyway, get right. This for me. Do this, please. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. Yep. All right. The second one's like in this area. That should give us enough to for an upgrade ticket. I hear him skittering. There it is. And then the last one's in the next section. So this is not an expanded treasure. This is an ornate necklace. 
Shotgun shells, make sure everything's reloaded because Ashley's gonna actually get kidnapped here, unfortunately. Where's the rat? There it is, last rat. Shotgun shells, I mean sniper rifle, and then immediately equip your sniper rifle, look down here. go and there should be a fish in the trash here that we can eat right away grab this and then let's go jesus he's running he's running oh no <laughs> he's coming Walking, 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 walking him. Ooh, that was a really close call. Oh, come on. You piece of... Just running circles until the, the bridge is ready. I timed that terribly, but that's okay. Right, the solution to this is two, one, two. Two, one, zero, two, I guess. I'm gonna kill this little flaga. Could take about one bullet, not too long. All right, this is a good time to save for me. All right. So now we have 41. We can get the exclusive upgrade ticket here. So, which weapon will you be given a shine to? And we can actually give it to the sniper rifle if you so desire, or on your to your red nine. But the red nine is so cheap that it's like really not worth doing. But I guess we could. It just really doesn't matter. Sniper rifle uh, would make more sense. But I'm not really gonna be using the sniper rifle, so let's see. Uh, I could buy a magnum, but no. I'm just gonna put it on. I'm just gonna put it on the sniper rifle. So that's your yeah. And the rest of the money I'm just gonna save for later. I'm gonna eat my fish and actually repairing my knife for two thousand. I can I can do my my crown next time so I don't forget. There we go. Do the green. See if you do all colors for the crown, it gives you a hundred thousand pesetas. All right. So we need. Two heavy grenades here. Okay, so keep that in mind. Leon. Oh shit, sorry. I'm so sorry. Why is that guy alive? Okay, so let her do her thing. And then immediately turn around, throw one grenade. Jesus Christ. And then throw another heavy grenade. Dude. I swear. And that's it. There we go. I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna leave. That's it, that's all we need. Two grenades. That takes like two seconds instead of like an entire 20 minutes. I literally did not mean to do that. Don't you hate when you press a button and then it takes Leon forever to like recover? Like, 
Anyway, it's okay to make mistakes. And then if you really want another... If you really want another request, if you don't have enough for the upgrade ticket, there's another one there. If you can, if you go back to the the testing lab, you can fight the regenerator right there. You know, I I was thinking we work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? If you could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. All right, let's go. There's also some treasures here, but I'm going to grab this stuff before we go. There's a crystal right here. And that's it. That's all we need. Nothing else. Krauser. Oh, Sadler. So, we are at 4 hours and 7 minutes. I'm gonna equip my bat knife. I'm gonna combine this yellow herb with my red and green. And I'm gonna stab this dude. Right here. Ideally, you don't want them to spot you. So you can... Explore. Like I said, there's a clockwork castle in there. There's also heavy grenades, some machine gun ammo here. We need we need heavy grenades. They're very important. All right, let's jump down. You can throw a heavy grenade at them here, so I'm actually gonna throw a regular grenade from here. There we go, I'm just gonna throw it at him. There we go. Make sure they don't survive, because <laughs> otherwise they will give you problems. SMG ammo here, and a treasure that we are literally going to need, so... Alright. So, if you don't like fighting Krauser, you can buy a rocket launcher here. But I'm actually thinking about fighting him. So... You've done well to make it this far, rookie. I've prepared a battle up ahead just for us soldiers. Watered by the blood of generations. Okay, so it's a good time to save right before Krauser's fight. There we go. And yeah, that's it, I think. Um, Welcome. Where would it we can sell Welcome. all of the stuff. So yeah, you can afford... A, I'll buy it at a high price. You can afford a... You can afford a rocket launcher here if you so desire, but I'm actually going to attempt to kill him. Uh, I will. I will, though. I will buy body armor. Body armor helps a lot here. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but yeah, body armor. You know what? I'm actually gonna... I'm actually not... I'm actually, I'm actually not gonna use body armor. Just so I can say I've done it without anything. Just nakedly. <laughs> okay, so let's just reload. I'm not gonna buy body armor. But of course, you can buy body armor if you want. Welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this stuff. And then you can you can buy you can buy body armor here or a, or a grenade or a rocket launcher if you want. I'm not buying a rocket launcher. I'm actually saving my money for Sadler. But you don't actually have to save your money for Sadler because you you can just sell your 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 weapons to buy the grenade launcher. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. There we go. Two headshots with the sniper rifle. And then I'm gonna go back. Rhinoceros beetle. 
Rhinoceros Beetle gives you 10k if you get it. That's the third one and the last one in the entire game. So one island, one castle, one village. There we go. I like how they had to have a picture of the like <laughs> picture of the valve the little handle. Remember the fight in the jungle. We barely made it out alive. Made it out alive. Go with your gut, don't think. Alright, break this box first thing you me. and turn around with your TMP. That's it. Then I'm going to put my pistol. And shoot that. Then I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna stand behind this wall. Ready to die, rookie. Then I'm gonna shoot this bomb right here. Then I'm gonna creep my way around here and shoot the little camera thingy. Then I'm gonna go down here and shoot that bomb. And before we go further in, we're gonna shoot the camera sentry thing. And then the trap on the floor. That's it. I'm no stranger to covert tactics, remember? How can I forget? Shit. There we go. Then go up to the torch and stop. Then I'm gonna equip my sniper here. And he he will shoot you here. So just serpentine. Serpentine. Use your knife on that. Stick to the left, otherwise you will get killed by that. So, he's gonna pop up here, so shoot this. Shoot that. And then, you can actually snipe him from here. So if you shoot him in the face, he will go away. There you go. And then he will leave you alone if you shot him in the face with the sniper rifle. Because the sniper rifle deals a lot of damage, so... Then after that, I'm gonna go up here and shoot this. And then go up the ladder, the stairs. And then go back down. Because otherwise you will get hit by that. So if you want to play it super safe, which I recommend. I'm going to combine a green herb with another green herb. And then equip my sniper rifle and eat it. Be full health here. And then immediately go up here and aim at this pillar and shoot him in the face. There we go. And then go up to him, run, run, run. And then kick him in the face. Then get ready to dodge. There we go. Watch out. Okay, there we go. We dealt enough damage. And now the real fight begins. Well, almost. Watch out. He you're gonna have to... Do that. Get this. Before we go in, I'm gonna grab this. Don't worry. And get ready to dodge. That's it. That's that's all you have to do. And there's some uh, there's a red herb. Grab that and then make sure that everything, absolutely everything is reloaded, especially your TMP. Okay, so as soon as the battle begins, he will do an attack. So get ready to evade. There we go. There we go. When you stun him like that, equip your heavy. Hopefully he gets stunned, but that's okay. Okay, when he goes up there, go up the ladder. And then shoot him with a TMP. If he goes back up, we're just gonna jump down. Get ready to do that. He should be dead soon. Okay, 
you can crouch to dodge that. There we go. EMP and shotgun. That's all you need. If you take damage, that's okay. Literally, that's okay. There's no no problem whatsoever. If you have your max out TMP and shotgun with exclusives, you should be able to kill him very easily. All right, before we go, we're gonna grab this stuff because we need this stuff. Very good cutscene, by the way, his death. So I 100% I recommend you don't skip cutscenes during your first playthrough. There we go. And that's it. Now we are almost done. But yeah, if you want to spare yourself the time wasted, just buy a rocket launcher and just rocket launcher him. You're you're gonna be fine eventually. But remember, you can do NG plus on this and expect to have all your weapons back. If you do plan on doing this without bonus weapons, without a DLC, you're gonna have to sell something or all of your weapons to get a uh, rocket launcher. Not all of your weapons, but you know, a lot of them. Or Sadler, I mean. All right, so the most annoying part, we're here. We've reached it. We've made it. So I'm actually going to leave the primal knife. Not primal knife, sorry. The fighting knife. Store that in there. And that's pretty much all of we, all of, all of we need from here. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell the Magnum ammo. Again, you can use the Magnum if you want against him. It's it, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to max out my my pistol damage here. Yeah, I'm gonna max out my pistol damage. That's it. That's the only thing I'm doing, just to make sure that I have enough ammo. Just. Uh, just to make sure I have enough uh, money, I mean. Before we go, Welcome. let me purchase some resources L. Yeah, so resources L are used to make heavy grenades. So make sure you have two heavy grenades. At least two heavy grenades. And one regular grenade. Well, one heavy grenade and one regular. So from here, you can just trigger them. And we just can walk back. And then Mike will come in. What was that? Mike did not help at all. Alright. Sorry, bad traffic. This song goes hard. There's a red barrel right here. Watch out, some of these guys actually have parasites. Yeah, this guy looks like he has one. Yep, he does. Oh, come on. I hate that so much. My shotgun deals a lot of damage right now because it's exclusive. Oh, nice. Critical. Don't burn, please. That's it. I'm going upstairs just to see if there's anything. I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, there's some stuff. Okay. So. Mike's section. This was the easy part. No, don't, don't need that yet anymore. There is a guy still alive for some reason. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Trigger the RPG. And then we're gonna walk back. There we go. And then we're gonna walk back. Watch out, it's very dangerous. There we go. 
right after that. Equip your pistol. And if these guys survive, we're just going to shoot them. Grab the gunpowder there on the left. Do that. Get the first aid. Don't care. Don't care. I'm leaving. Bye. Oh, Mike just... Mike just killed me. What the hell? All right, we're going to shoot that. We're going to shoot that. Grab the red, the green herb and the barrels. And we're going to actually equip our heavy grenade. And we're going to break this thing. I'm going to go up, up to it. One and then one regular. Boom. Hopefully it takes one regular. There we go. Jump down. And I'm just gonna run, 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 run. And that should trigger the cutscene. Don't worry, they will rush at you. Just find cover here and there's a green herb. And I'm just gonna snipe everyone from here. This is a safe spot, pretty much. Oh, please. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, game. Okay, I understand, game. I know, I know you want me to die, but seriously. Oh, that's why. Oh, really? Okay. I'm gonna stand here and then wait for him to stop shooting and then I'm gonna snipe him. Shoot this guy first, because otherwise he's gonna piss me off. Then shoot this guy in the leg. Make sure he's dead. There we go. One leg, one... Headshot, if needed. And then... I'm gonna shoot this guy. There is a... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. Now, after that, I'm going to play it safe. So, I'm going to equip a hand grenade. And go up to this fence. And throw a grenade at that. Watch out. There's a guy that's shooting stuff at me. Hopefully, he doesn't turn into a plaga. Because that's going to be a problem. Snipe this dude. Okay, that grenade did kill the 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 uh, minigun guy. So, just gonna go this way. Don't mind me. And then I'm gonna snipe this dude, because otherwise he will RPG me to death. This one too. This one too. So this guy. And then make sure that it's completely free. Okay. We're fine. We are free from enemies. Reload your sniper. Because literally we are going to need that. Alright. So. Get this. And immediately turn around and go up to the mounted gun here. And kill these guys. So there's a JJ here next to me, a brute of some kind. All right, I'm just leaving. So if you don't want him to bother you, we're gonna go ahead and kill him with our TMP. Melee him, ideally into a wall. So we can stab him in the neck, or you can just take him out with your TMP. EMP is pretty much useless now. Uh, it's used for that kind of thing, you know? Taking out mini game, mini mini guys like that, mini bosses, sorry. Alright, shotgun in hand. Grab this, go up the ladder. Now these lesser enemies can just go to hell.
Really? How am I not hitting him? Grab this shotgun stuff. Really? So annoying. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna eat this. There we go. And there's a stupid spider. You're kidding me. How did he survive? He was one shot. Anyway. And we're done. And that's how you do that. That's one of the many ways of doing that. No sweat broken. Done. The important part there was surviving the brute. Alright, so we are going to have to have our shotgun in hand. Or our TMP, if we don't have shotgun. Because there's going to be a bunch of bugs. Mike! There we go. There's four. There we go. Okay, he doesn't drop anything. So there is a treasure here that you can get. We are 4 hours and 26. We're wasting a lot of time. So there are some medallions here if you really want. I usually just skip this part because it's literally not needed. There's also... Treasure here. The scepter, the staff of royalty. There's one right there. And there's one right here. Very difficult to see. Probably one of the hardest ones. You don't need this anymore. We have our upgrade tickets. We really don't need any more. But I guess if you just want to buy, you know, something like a first aid, I think you can buy first aid or a yellow diamond or something to help you buy the rocket launcher or something else, you know, whatever. There we go. There's that. I have no idea how I hit that. And the last one's right there. There we go. And now this is another spot where people struggle with. So fun fact, you can see the regenerator in there. So don't bump into it. Into it. There we go. Grab this. Resources L. Very useful. There's a Salazar here also. Right there. Or somewhere around here. There's one per chapter, basically. There's 16. Alright, hold this and then we're gonna go in. So you have two options here. You either kill the regenerator or you don't. You run past them. So once again, this is another difficult part for some people. But if you do it this way, so just to reassure you, there's nothing except for that one. Okay? Not a single one. See? Not a single one in our way. So instead, we're just going to shoot those boxes and then we're going to run around. And then we're going to hold here and then we're going to look back. See those bricks on the floor? See those bricks? Okay, we're, we're aiming for those bricks. Stick to the right. Grab everything on the way out. Don't bump into anything because you will be slowed down. And then we're going to stick to the to the left. And we did that. See? There's a treasure there if you want it. I don't want it. That's it. We're at the end of the game. We're going to save. Once again... We are going to save our money here, because if you've done everything correctly, you should have at least 160,000. Well or alternatively, you can just use that to get the yellow diamond. Or the treasure map if you want, or whatever you want, you know, I'm just gonna sell, sell everything. There we go. With the upgrades that I have right now, I'm not even maxed out. I should be fine. There we go. We still are. Here we go. Shoot this barrel. This Novistador often doesn't die. I heard you. Yellow herb. Shotgun shells. Black bass. Just gonna eat this snake and this fish. 
Then I'm gonna snipe the RPG dude. Then I'm gonna run past the brute. Running past the brute because I really don't need him to die. There we go, shoot that dynamite. I'm running, I'm not stopping, I don't need anything from here. I literally just need one thing. Okay, that was bad RNG. There we go. Run past this brute, don't care. Don't care. Shoot this guy. He's gonna be a plaga. Shoot this. Just run past him. Hopefully you don't get stunned by a dude running in. It's whatever though. Look at that shit. See? It's so annoying. Get out of here. Jump over there. And we're done. Shotgun helps so much here. Look at that. See? There we go. And if you're doing an expanded treasure map run, there's a red barrel up there. But I'm not doing that. That's it. Alternatively, if you want that to be easier, you can just kill everyone one by one with your TMP. It doesn't matter. Ashley. Or you can just use the flashbang to make it even easier. Which I recommend doing the flashbang. Because, yeah. All right. Ashley. We're almost there. We're pretty much done. Laboratory B. Uh, laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. I like Ashley's shoes. The hell? Let's do this. Why am I underwater? We did it. I wonder if you can actually fail this part. Like if you take too long, she dies or something. We're not there yet. We still have to put her on the bed. <laughs> this is like probably the hardest part in the entire game. There we go. We did it. Nice. Now we get to kill Sadler with a rocket launcher, of course. Actually, two. <laughs> All right, we're going to save. Let's save. Specimen storage. All right, return to game. Next. So all of this, removing the parasites, this was Luis. Is that Luis? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him. Nice. There's some ammo. A lot of... What? What is that? Gas masks? Okay. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. You're right. Good at that. Right. And there's 
there's a is this part yeah okay. it's really it's legit Alright, we have one more obstacle. No, no, we still got this. I'm gonna equip my shotgun here. And I'm gonna go to the left. Watch out, there's a no still over there. I guess I forgot to say. This one right here. Shotgun. Shotgun. Grab the pendant. And that's it. Turns out we didn't even need to uh, get a bunch of treasures. But I made sure that you grabbed a lot. So even if you don't have gems to put in them, you can just sell them. And get your... Um, rocket here. Where is this thing? Oh, there he is. I always forget about that one. Oh well, you know what? It doesn't matter, because guess what? We're at the end of the game. Alright, we're gonna leave everything behind. And also, this is the last treasure in the entire game. I guess. And there's a... There's actually a... There's actually a stranger here. Sell, sell, sell. Stranger. We can literally Ooh, just buy anything. Any so I'm going to put away those things. The sniper. Welcome. And I'm going to buy the rocket. Not my place to say, really, but sometimes things are more Don't get yourself there we go. Now. <laughs> and I'm just going to equip it. Just equip it. This is the only rocket I'm purchasing. The entire run. As soon as the battle begins, shoot him. That's it. And he's dead. And then we're just gonna shoot him to speed up the process. Evading. There we go. Grabbing the red launcher. And he's dead. <laughs> Watch out though, because you see you can still fail that. But thankfully we, we saved before him. And now we're done. We get to go home. I like I like I like uh, the animation for Ashley. The way she runs. It just feels more believable, I think. They did a really good job, though, with this game all together. But the animations are really good. Alright. We have one more obstacle here. Also, if you're doing the Salazar statues, the last one is right here. On that. Right there. See? The little legs? Yeah. That thing. There it is. Now we're just walking past everyone. So we actually have 50 seconds, by the way, to do this whole thing. I think on Hardcore you get an extra 20. Alright, let's do this. You can still mess this up. You can still mess this up, so don't worry, no pressure. What I like doing is I like slowing down right before the archways. See? Like that. There we go. Hold on. 
I'm sticking to the left here. Stick to the left and then right and then left again. And then forward. To do the trick, you just press F or square or A, I guess. The action button, basically. You do get money for it. There you go. Alright, this is where it kind of gets like nerve wracking a little bit. So you can slow down if you want, or you just slow down right here if you want to take the last ramp. There we go. And we should be done. We did it. Congratulations. Yay. And we can skip all that. And we got our S plus on hardcore, and that's how you get the chicken hat. <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. This is the most effective way of doing a first playthrough, by the way. But I recommend against it. I recommend you join you enjoy your first playthrough. You really are the best. There we go. We did it. I wanna personally congratulate you for doing this outstanding achievement. But of course, most of you probably already got this thank you for watching subscribe for more leave a like and i hope you enjoyed it all right i'll see you next time